Yeah, D and D is Thursday. <sighs> I have some bad news. This is gonna be a short stream. Because maybe uh because Burns Burns said that he's gonna meet with Arcadum this afternoon. God, I can't type. Um, turn this shit down. Uh, he's gonna meet meet with Arcadian with the changes that he has for Analias. And I was like, all right, well, if they're gonna if they're gonna meet, I might as well capitalize on it and make him meet with me too. In like three hours, yeah, it's gonna be like. Soon. It's at 11 a.m. PST, 1 p.m. CST, 2 p.m. EST, and if you're a piece of shit and you live in mountain time, it's 12. On Thursday. What's up, Kingen? Ugh. No one lives there, so it's okay. Um, I grew up in Arizona, and we don't observe um, daylight savings. That's right. We're better than everyone else. Arizona time. It's in a parallel universe where time doesn't actually exist because it's controlled by the Mormons. No, I, I saw, I thought he was sick. I thought, I saw his tweet that he was sick. I didn't know that he cracked his... From, is it from sneezing? Like, is he sick and he cracked his ribs from like... Oh my god. Do you go to the doctor? Holy shit. I've, um... I've hurt my ribs coughing. I had a con flu, like... Five years ago, that was really like I had every every strain of the flu all at once, and cold and flu at once. It was it was awful. I'm sorry. <clears throat> now that's over. Yo, can I can I talk to you? Listen here, okay, bitch. So, um, Give me your fucking me. money. Give me your fucking money right now. <laughs> oh that's, God, right. Oh. that's right. That's right, bitch. Oh that's right. Oh yeah, 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 that's right, bitch. Okay, it's gone. We're free. Oh. Ah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> he did nothing. Uh, he did. He did nothing. Didn't anything. He let. Her, he let that happen. I know. What a fuck that guy. Bitch. Hey, we have to talk. Oh God, what's that? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have to talk, talk. Okay, dog, what's up? I think uh, uh, some stuff has already happened, but oh my God. Oh no. Do I want to know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, I love kitty meetings. Oh, oh, hey, it's that zombie thing. A masked up male individual uh, riding a bicycle. You find a reason to do a traffic stop. As a reminder, bicyclists do have to follow traffic laws. 
That way you have an excuse to identify them. I'm going to sit here. Or if you see Hell yeah, a Brian. unmasked male uh, matching the description here, find a reason to stop and identify them as well if they are riding a bicycle. I understand this may be a needle in the haystack, but this is a man who was broken out of max sec for terrorism. So I think we should be using every opportunity we can to try and catch him, even if it's a long shot for now. Uh, really quick, when he says find a reason to pull him over, yeah, just observe stop. them. Just ob don't hey, encourage them to do anything. Don't don't entrap them. Okay, that's not what we're asking. We're just you know if they do something wrong and you have the ability to make them identify themselves, just go ahead and do so. But again, for those, don't make for this those a leap. Who, Yeah, for those who may feel that. Uh you know it, it's a little wrong in your moral compass the supreme court has actually already ruled on this this is known as a ren stop it was ruled that as long as your initial reason for detainment is valid it doesn't matter what your ultimate investigation is you could be investigating drugs Turns, but you mean pulling goes someone corrupt? over for a traffic offense we do this every day i would just like to see this expanded to uh, unknown people hmm. riding bicycles for the reasons i've already listed do you want to talk about the uh, bank account thing? Oh, yes. And uh, last night I did get a warrant approved from uh, Supreme Justice uh, Labar. We are monitoring ATM uh, withdrawal. All right. For Whenever Mr. these situations well. happen, I always have like so my own personal alert, prediction that, that of what's going to happen. I'm going to give you guys my personal prediction of what's going to hey, happen sir, with I, Young I Dab. To, uh, you guys Andrews ready for this? yesterday and sat down with him and uh, Fontaine, and I did a sketching of him uh i was wondering if i could put it on the board oh uh, yes you have a sketch yeah go ahead throw it up okay my wow <laughs> that is so That's accurate wow shit. what the wow. fuck is that you're not oh, there we go too much hair I know, I know some of us don't know what the fuck he looks like, so I mean, that, that is, was uh, the same. Like too much hair, but yeah, that's extremely accurate. Yep. It looks like a slave in the mail. Uh, if you guys want photos of him, I have uh, his old case files and I can uh, share that with you guys. I'll actually, I'll um, update his MDW with the, uh, with the last mugshot photo we have of him. That would be perfect, thank you. Copper, do you still want uh, us to tag you, your name specifically, as well as the gnome tag in anything yes. involved in this? Yes. No, it's it's his. You guys went over. He's under the gnome tag. Right. Uh, he might also be on. Um, I don't know if uh, Cop Killer Records is gonna be resurfacing, and then anything with Prune Gang. He was involved in uh, all three. I see. All right. Perfect. Yes. That's all I had. Hey, Pred, you have to yell? Sure. Yeah, yell. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Yeah, that is quite the picture, Gunner. Uh, good job. Thank you, uh, sir. Your, your sketching talents are uh, good. He said it, is... I know his hairline's wrong, and I heard his lips were a little bit thinner, but, you know, I did it on kind of a, a short-time basis. Gosh, well, this is looks like we're looking for a member of the Insane Clown Posse. Um, Possibly a juggalo. Uh, do we have any more important whoop, whoop. information that needs to be brought up today? Whoop whoop. There you go. I think the uh, trooper of Ripley's kidnapping would happen if you need to get a brief like a synopsis story of what took place. Gotcha. Does yeah, anybody, what do you happened come with, with that? that Does anybody know? Is anybody in this room involved in the kidnapping of 202 Trooper Ripley? I, I heard about it. I can give like. Was I the only one here? Is there the even a report on this? Like, what do we know? I think so. Can you go yeah, and dare you Joseph ever, if you know oh, about it? To come up and, I, I was the only one here. When Bar, hey, partner uh, Auckland, if you have more information, feel free. But uh, what I was told is that he was kidnapped by a chatterbox. Yeah. Um, I don't remember his legal name, but yeah, if, if you see uh, Mr. Chatterbox out there. Wait, is Carter I, here? I don't think Carter. Yeah, so. Okay. Um, it's a legal name. Yeah, Jer uh, Jagger Gerardi. Yeah, Jagger Gerardi. Uh, this is a report. It's incident 13877. It was... Uh, uh, Carter wrote this. This guy. 
This is Chatterbox without his mask, apparently. Yeah, this this is the guy who kidnapped and I did something to Ripley to send him to the ICU. I'm, I'm not sure what exactly. It's, yeah, like, I tried there's to a narrative it was in said the that warrant he was, that's been put up. Yeah, he was kidnapped by Chatterbox. Chatterbox. Chatterbox wanted to know what happened to Dundee, and that's why he kidnapped him. Alright. What happened to Dundee? You shut the fuck up! Mom's driving! Like, what? Well, we know anything? Can't catch me, dog. He was broken See, out. Like, that's He's all missing. we know. Okay. I've just seen missing posters. That's sort of what I know. The, the, the BBMC has come down here a couple times. In fact, they came down here last night trying to speak to Andrews in regards to uh, Dundee. So Andrews may know something about it. So, wait, so the BBMC and him. Chatterbox? Did we say Dundee or Chatterbox? You guys, like you, guys, you, guys are talking about, you guys are talking about two different things. One thing is Ripley, which with Chatterbox, and the other thing is uh, the people looking for Dundee. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, they're saying that there's something he was looking for information on Dundee, so it might be yeah. uh, relevant. So BBMC. apparently, you cannot Ripley to get information about what happened to Dundee. Mm -hmm. right. well, so and, and we have no idea what happened to Dundee, as far as we know. What'd you say, best? Um, I think he kidnapped two of them, only took one, right? Because he forced both of them to go off duty, according to a report. Yeah, Who yeah. wrote Max Ilian? So, Who created uh, Young Dab's profile? Because who the fuck is Max Ilian? <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. Well, Boss Mountain looks at that. So, Chatterbox tried to kidnap both Andrews and Ripley. Uh, when he forced Andrews to go off duty, the door locked behind Andrews, leaving him locked inside Sandy PD. And when Chatterbox realized that, just decided to take Ripley and take off. So Andrews was able to come back on duty and let everyone know that Ripley had been kidnapped. That's why only one person was kidnapped. Okay. I have something else to say, I forgot. Is it okay, guys? So, yeah. Oh, there's a photo of Maximilian in his MDT if you guys want to load it up on the screen. All right, I think. I right, just a reminder for everyone uh, during the, those hours. Uh, a lot of people been pretending to be somebody else using fake IDs, pretending. Uh, just make sure to dude. I don't with your uh, investigation and make sure that you're speaking with the proper person whenever you're arresting them. Uh, and I've been speaking with the judges. We're looking into uh, getting more charges in the future for the people that repeatedly uh, get arrested for stolen IDs and uh, pretending to be somebody else, identity type. So basically, uh, maybe getting some more charge for that a little bit harsher. I've been speaking with uh, Lavar about that yesterday. So just make it's sure to not... verify who you have in custody. Well, I can right tell person. that an English person wrote this because there's way too just many to clarify a little bit on that, uh, you can like the DOC will let you know whenever you send that person to prison. Axie Alien. You're supposed to correct and amend the charges, as well as place a warrant for the individual for impersonation. Axie Alien. Is there anything else? Uh, yeah, uh, there was a vault incident apparently last night, and um, these were recovered from the individuals. Uh, I just found out about it. This is a grapple gun. Um, this oh, is, uh, this is an yeah. op from like CSGO. Oh. Yeah, By it looks way, like you prestiged like 10 times over. Yeah. What happens if you shoot Let's somebody with that pin zone? Let's shoot Toretti with the grapple gun and yeah, just see what happens. Yeah, shoot Toretti with it. Shoot Toretti with it. Yeah, shoot with it. Vest on, vest on. What? You can shoot with it. Vest on, man. I can do it. How do I get it? Do it. Okay, you know I got you. Do it. You had the same rank. Do it. I didn't call you pin zone. I was looking at you. You guys have the same hair. You have the same rank. You can't do it. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, he can't. He can't do it. Yeah, he can't uh, yeah. grapple oh, me, man. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, what the oh, shit? Oh, you, it looks like you're a bad you. shot, Espinos, oh, but that's okay. Oh, oh, personal way, kid. Uh, yeah. Shooting grapple guns does not make you GSR positive. Just does wanted not. to let you guys know. Does not. Oh. Yeah. Are, Are you positive? positive? 
Are you 100 percent positive on that? Oh, wait. I'm 100 yes, percent positive we, that it doesn't we, make you positive. Because I want to get hit. I will do, you. Know, I'll do a lot of GSR tests now. Come around. Right. Yeah. Last yeah. night. Last night we had a vault where four individuals did not open fire, but they used grappling guns oh. and all came back GSR positive. Kevin just positive. tested me earlier, so. Like it was CG. They're in. They're in gang wars all the fucking time. They probably shot the vargos before going. Yeah, that is true. That is also true. All right, so is that everything, everybody? Let's go ahead. Do you guys want to uh, hear my? my there you go. Do you guys want to hear my gotcha. synopsis? Well, I'll give you guys my prediction of Young Dab. But uh, let me let me read you guys my synopsis of uh, Young Dab. Uh, just real quick. No. Um, As of the 20th oh, got, of May, I my, 2019, uh, I my bar license, after so I'm not really I uh, sure if we're still doing cops as prosecutors, but I did get my bar ooh. license. After so I interviewed him while I had him in Max Sec. For my investigation. Uh, you have to talk to Stanton. He has a little thing. Right, hey, before right. before you guys go, one more thing, another reminder: when we're doing these street racing calls, if you have interceptors there, we're not going to be spike stripping them. Okay, so bring spikes. But Amen. Don't, don't, we like, don't have interceptors. And, like, for it, you know? So yesterday we didn't have the interceptors. Are we clear for that after a, a while? Or I'm yes. Making... Yes. Okay. Yeah, Without interceptors. interceptors. And honestly, uh, like uh, interceptor drivers, it's up to their call if we're going to end up using spike strips because depending on whatever the chase is and maybe they're being way too aggressive and they're starting to ram or pit the interceptor then we need to start using spike strips yeah, because I, I don't want people yeah. risking their lives but if there's not an interceptor driver available to aid in the pursuit then you guys are free to use spike strips at your discretion obviously follow regular protocol asking higher ranker ranked officers to clear for that but let's uh let's let the yeah. interceptors uh do their damage to them i'd rather do that than uh, have officers out of their cars and possibly getting hit by uh high speed vehicles yeah. or if they're going off road too fucking these motherfuckers die off road like these yeah too. fuck that um, oh, God, yeah. i don't know if this bitches. i don't know if this was addressed um because I, I was I was scheduling an appointment on on, or on my phone. Um, if there are individuals, dude, I haven't even trials, looked at the tour. I don't want to see a bunch of officers sitting around. Uh, what is in the Bill area. doing? Uh, we've had that happen far too many times, and calls go un completely unresponded to. <laughs> so, you know, if you do intend on doing a time trial, please make sure that you're doing your job until it's your turn to actually participate. Because you know, you being a unit not doing anything is pointless. Too. Well, that's everything that I have. So yeah. I think uh, unless anyone else has anything, that's it. Hey, I was in legal advice. Let me know. I am. Hey, I was digging up. Now. Did anyone actually clear up why Ripley was taken by Chatterbox or what the motive was behind that? Or is this like a building thing they're that's been going get, on? They're trying to get information on uh, Dundee and why he's missing. Okay. Do we know why Dundee is missing? Mm, no, no idea. No. Does, did anybody What's even know me? that he was missing? Like, why are we getting targeted over I, this? I, I don't know. Ba Bass has said that uh, I he was, uh, like, escaped or something. Yeah, he was broken up on prison transport. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. Fair enough. By the way, guys, orders, orders. Code Espinos will get you a free booster pack. Oh, wow. Oh, code. Thank you. Hey, Sal, can I, talk to you? I think I'm banned from yeah. there. Same. No, no, Maybe Brett. Come with me. Hey, to ready. No one to speak to you. I go on a ride along oh, with you, Mr. Treddy. No, I'm not. Oh, yeah, Treddy. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, yeah. Treddy, why don't you give some ride alongs, Treddy? Help! I want to go on a ride along. Treddy, give us some ride alongs. Help! Treddy, give us some ride alongs. Treddy, um, you, I want a ride along. You can drive your own car. No, I can't. So, or... Almost done. My arms don't reach. Uh, I put. <laughs> your arms don't reach? Uh, no, they're too this, short. Patrick, I'm here. Jesus, what I went the to the gym this, and or... my arms hurt. I can't she's drive. Like, uh, she's dead. Oh no. Do you need help getting up? Yes. All right. What'd you do, Kevin? Hold my hand. Not and, me. and I want jello. Get get snow. I want orange jello. Where's snow? Like strawberry jello with peaches. No, inside. I want no. orange. Yeah, I want orange honestly, jello. Yeah, what we do is okay. Oh, oh my god, hurry! No, I'm I gotta, dying. I gotta get snow. Oh my god. Yeah, we'll hey, Cream, once I get my jello, let's talk. And then once we'll <laughs> okay. all those guys keep moving I'm not in uniform, I'm sorry. Alright, I, I 301 for him. Hopefully he's on his way. He's on his way. <laughs> oh god. 
Rob Bang, I don't Is know. Is he gonna have Jello? Think we're gonna have to uh, remove him from the police force because he never responded. To he'll know. Oh, he'll know where to get the Jello. Can you go uh, in there, uh, Mr. Neil? Yeah. What the hell your name is? Uh, Neil. Oh, is that a new ready. hire? No. Uh, are we hiring seven new officers? Yeah. Yes. We, we oh my God, I'm so we excited. There's so snow. George Wilson. Sit back. <laughs> oh, where's snow? What do I need to Hey, Copper. Hey, <laughs> Gunner, I'm dying. Um, I'm what are you dying of? I need Jello. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I've got oh, red testosterone suppository cigarettes. Oh, we're walk up. No, Snow has to get me Jello. Hey, what's up? Oh, okay. Orange Jello. Okay. What was that, Brian? What are you doing? Oh, I'm drinking water. Can you do that again? I, I don't have any more bottles. Oh. Hey, Treddy, can you give uh, Brian Knight a new bottle of water? I got a milkshake. Oh, how about that? Oh, hell yeah. There you go. I'm a bitch. Hey, George, I'm you ready to go? Fuck it, finally. finally. Yeah. Orange <laughs> jello <months. laughs> What the fuck? So, Reddy, can you come with me? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta wait for snow. And then, yeah. It's like the, yeah. you know, get, when you're at the dentist the, and they're like done okay, cleaning your teeth <laughs> and they're like oh, rinsing your yeah. teeth with the water and it has that <laughs> suction tube and they're like, yeah, put your lips around this and you're like, no. <laughs> oh, I always say yes. It's my favorite part. Mm. Do you ever try to get your tongue stuck on it? No, see ya. No, I just tried to see <gasps> how hard I could no. suck it. By the way, you hey. shouldn't have said Wait, you about suck the hire. It back? It's supposed to be a surprise. Mm. What, you guys? Also, he that that was at the. I wanted to surprise him. That was uh, yeah, the, but he doesn't know he's getting hired. I didn't so say right that now. that fuckface was getting hired. Who cares That's about him? That's why I said no. Okay. What's happening? I gotta go. Snow. Uh, Neil is getting hired. I gotta go do. I tasked that. Freddy yeah. with getting you. I need orange Jello. Yep. Now. Yes. Right My now. arms don't okay. work. Let's go. Thank you. I got you. I need Kareem. You ready? Kareem. Oh, I gotta do this. Uh, yeah, we have to have like a detective talk. Okay. No, we, I, wanted to, so, I wanted to ask you both about it stuff briefly as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's up? Um, so I'm looking to go for it, Copper. I know, mm -hmm. obviously, with Snow, you being in and out of the Interceptor, I like, don't want to drag you away from that. But Copper, would you want to take me up at some point um, for, like, learning? Yeah, learning? sure. Absolutely. Like I, yeah, I, I, yeah, your comms are great. So it's like, uh, yeah. Go for a pilot. I fiddled around. I fiddled around. Well, I fiddled around in the pilot, pilot seat earlier on with pins. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I vaguely understand, but you know, I don't know SOPs or behavior or anything like that. Okay. So it's like I need all the. Yeah, we'll go over all of that. There's like a, yeah, a test you have to pass. Sick. Okay. Um. Yeah. Whenever. Honestly. Whenever I'm around. You know. Okay. I got you and then uh, King. Actually, not King. Um, wait, who was it? Carter? I think it was Carter. But he's like, uh, have you mm. flown before, Vale? I've played a shitload of flight sims. Oh, yeah, it's just I like that. Snow loves yeah. flight sims. Like, yeah. Like, you know, like, yeah, me too. Collective and stake and, and, and variable throttle and VRS and yeah, all, of, all of internet. All right, Kappa, Kappa we need to talk with, uh, with Jenny. As well. Okay. Jen, Jen, Jen needs to be Thank there. You. Okay. Yes, we do. It's not us, <gasps> obviously. It's snow. You know, more than oh my god, yeah. it's happening. Wait, hey, what's happening? What's happening? We have to talk. Okay. Let's, Let's go in go uh, the, room. the MCD room. Yeah, the room. The All room. Right. Can we, wait, can we leave Mission Row? Like, can we leave? Like, I just want to. I, I hate being here. I hate this, it. This is just our sanctitude or sanctuary. Yeah, but we can be yeah. in sanctitude in the sky, you know? That's what I'm thinking. I don't want to be in a helicopter. <laughs> Please. What sounds like a goddamn? I'm not even in uniform. I'm not even in uniform. I need my Jello. You look great. I did okay, back and bicep this. today. Oh really? You did oh, back shit. and biceps? Was yes. It, do you have your time? <laughs> what do you okay. mean? It today is pull day. Oh. Pull day. Tomorrow is. I can't see every, anything. Okay, I'll fix you in a Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. I fucking hate meetings in this room. I'm sorry. I oh, thought you, you like could fly too. I just hate being in Mission Row. I just hate it. I want to leave. I'll be no, honest. Can you but I, make sure I'm at the table? Thank you. I got you. 
Okay. All right. You good? <laughs> yeah, I'm great. Okay. I'm great. All right. Here I have Trooper Copper. Hello. Carry on. Uh, so Copper, you want to talk to Jenny about all this thoroughbred stuff? Uh, I sent you a text, Jenny. Uh, I know phones don't really give you a notification. Um, essentially, I, I know you know now that Maximilian Thoroughbred has, uh, been broken out of prison. There's a lot of, uh, information surrounding, uh, him being broken out that I actually got a lot of information on yesterday that I have to talk with, uh, you, Kareem, and Dukakis. I also have to talk to Williams. I believe Andrews has already uh, acted upon this information. But uh, I, I, the biggest thing was knowing the nature of like how he got broken out. So we can kind of anticipate what kind of people we're dealing with. Um, I, uh, I, Maximilian had tweeted out yesterday that uh, they allowed him to have his phone in prison. And then he was asking for if anybody had Pruno, which is a drink from prison. Anyway, um, Eugene Zuckerberg responded. You know, a lot of people in the city responded. Uh, Sis Folker responded. Um, later, um, I went off duty and I went and I talked with Sis. I talked with um, Eugene. I talked with a, a handful of people that I know that are involved with uh, Maximilian. Uh, Sis is concretely believes that it's a someone faking and pretending to be his stepdad. He doesn't think that he's actually out of prison. Actually, he even told me that he talked to you, Snow, and you you told him that he was dead. That you told him that yeah, Maximilian I, was, I dead. He was dead. dead. So I know that he was broken out. That this isn't fake. Sis firmly believes that this is fake. Uh, Eugene Zuckerberg is kind of on the fence. Most people don't believe um, he's actually out. Um, like I said, I wish Dukakis was there, was here. Oh fuck, hey, it, uh, maybe I need Mina. Anyway, I was told information uh, surrounding this uh, transport. So this is the third transport that Maximilian Thoroughbred has been having with uh, Pixie Plum at Parsons. Now, as far as I understand, and every practice I've ever seen since we've had a lot of restructuring, when there's transports with lifers or maximum security offenders, the police are directly involved because we manage their transports. So during this transport, Fontaine had orchestrated a decoy that knew nothing of what was going on. And then her own unit, which was her and a set of uh, <laughs> uh, volunteer DOC. And as it was explained to me, there's no such thing as volunteer DOC. There's no SOPs for it. That's not how they do their hiring. It doesn't exist. And the volunteer DOC that uh, Fontaine had selected were members of the Rooster's Rest. One of them being Kane Larp, or as everybody knows, uh, Jaeger Demon Blood. So there's a lot of other stuff going on with Fontaine. First of all, uh, just her directly ignoring all of our SOPs and agreements that we have between the DOC and the PD and the management of our high-end criminals. But then she's setting up these transports with people that, one, uh, have criminal records. Two, they don't even have volunteer. There's no such thing as volunteer DOC. So what the fuck? And the, this person telling me this information, the other DOC members that saw the report and the information on this, everybody was shocked that nobody was involved. Nobody was really included. It seemed like Fontaine was just kind of like doing whatever the fuck she wanted. So she is definitely in somebody's pocket. Does that does that make sense to you guys? Do you think yeah, he... Wild. Do you think he could have possibly done to her what he did to me? Yeah. That's definitely a possibility. Or someone's uh, toying with her on the outside and using her to get to Maximilian. Um... 
on top of the fact that she's managing a high security transport, you know, like a max sex transport of a, you know, a lifer, a very violent lifer, um, while she is currently in a wheelchair. So I don't know what she planned on doing as far as like if there was a problem, but um, even though there was, she set up a decoy, also her plan was never relayed to Pixie. So P Pixie was just sitting at Parsons for like an hour, like having no idea what the fuck was going on, had no idea where uh, Thoroughbred was. They had already had two other um, sessions together and they were waiting for this third, but obviously it, it's kind of on this level of where there's so much negligence that it's it's not it's almost it's basically intentional for her to be in a position to be taken advantage of. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like there was a com like a complete lack of not only her safety but the other people that she was with, these volunteer roosters rest employees that she had. But just complete negligence all across the board. I understand that uh, Andrews had suspended her and she has some other kind of punishments, but I don't know how much Andrews actually knows because I uh, it so depends on what is she has told him. Third time, like this has gone on. He's been moved out of Maxec mm -hmm. twice more before this, mm -hmm. and none of us have had a clue. Exactly. Well, so we, well, there we were would, we would have. there were three one ones. But here's the thing, what I don't get. If we, we get 311s from people that are transporting weed and we're getting told who's involved, what vehicle they're driving, their license plate, their destination, and what road they're leaving and as they're leaving, we get that from people selling weed. But the, this person that's running for warden can't fucking get her shit together enough to even be professional as a warden to communicate this information to us. Like it, it's it's intentionally negligent. She's you like, know like who's it, even agreed to let him go out of Maxex for these therapy sessions? Right. Like where Surely a judge is this would coming have to from? be informed? Yeah. Right. We've spoken to Andrews because he's technically the warden currently, so he may. Have well, I mean, Andrews knows because, uh, like I said, uh, Fontaine has been suspended, and she's okay. receiving some right. kind of punishment. But I don't think uh, Andrews understands the lengths of this. Like there there's some fuck ups on both ends because. Uh, even though Fontaine was through and wanting, hey, uh, we are tr doing a prison transport to Parsons just to let officers know. Um, and then later when she was being followed, she 311 and 911 and all of the available officers were currently doing time trials. And she called on uh, the 911 and she was basically told like tough shit that sucks. Is that she uh, from what I understand, she, she actually got on radio and was like, hey, like this is what's going on. And, and she got interrupted and basically told to fuck off. There's an active going on. Yeah. So there's there's a lot of parts to this, but I'm going over all of it. Like uh, the, there's her being told to go like go fuck herself and to go deal with it on her own. That doesn't overshadow the fact that she's like deliberately setting up transports with random civilians that have criminal records in like a program that doesn't actually exist and doesn't involve any of the actual like qualified DOC members and without involving the police department. So that's that issue. Um, so when I, so that's that thing. I uh, went off duty when I found out about all of this. And so I went to go hang out with the nerds, those, those particular people, because those are like my friends outside of work. And I was just hanging out with them and I saw Sizz and I got, you know, I got him alone and we were kind of just chatting over like things mm -hmm. in the past. And he's like, well, you know, if this ends up being my stepdad, like, um, you know, obviously I don't want him to go away to prison again. I'm like, yes, I, I understand that. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. My intention is to get him back into prison. Um, but, you know, I told him that between the two of us, like to validate that this stuff is true, uh, I lied to him and told him that I don't know any information and I haven't had any confirmation that he's actually broken out. Because I'm not ready. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know if we're at that point yet that we want to confirm it. I know it's already going to happen now because uh, this shit with Fontaine. 
So I'm going to talk to Sis and I'm going to come forward with the information that I have. Uh, Sis told me that he went to his house and on the back door stoop of his house, there was a gnome mask. And no, there wasn't any note, but it was mm. just a gnome mask was left there. So I went to my house, which happens to be next door to Sis. And at my front door was a gnome mask. And some blood. Oh my God, oh. Jesus Christ. Which I have on me. Which is totally normal, by the way. But, um, and I was kind of, I was talking to Sis. I'm like, it's kind of crazy that they would know that I live here because, uh, I don't have anything in my name. And everything is in, uh, Dean's name. So that must mean somebody who knows, like, Dean has told Maximilian that I live with Dean and that Dean and I are together and looked up on public records, found the property that Dean owns. I mean, Dean owns the entire fucking island, so... I guess it's the only residence, right? Yeah. So, um... I took pictures. Uh, I put the, the mask in an evidence bag. I have the blood on me. I have to see if it's, uh... Uh... If it's, it matches to anybody who's been swabbed recently, it could be any of the members of the HOA. Like I said, we're we're next door. Sis lives right next door to mm -hmm. Dean and I. The thing I can't get my head around is that he's been in there for two years mm -hmm. and he was put in with the possibility of parole. Why breaking him out? He could have gone the legal route, route and just walked out of the prison. It, it makes kind of no sense that they that they broke him out. He served like a shit ton more time than anybody else who's got terrorism in this city. He could have literally gone in front of a judge and been cleared of this. And, and instead, he's gone down this route and it's just made it a billion times worse because now he's going to lose everything again. What is What are they all thinking? Um. Well, I mean, to be completely honest, even if I was tipped off, like, for instance, uh, Fontaine probably told the members of the Rooster's Rest that were this volunteer DOC that what they were transporting, right? Like, oh, they have, she has right. to be, so whatever, whoever they choose to talk to, that could be anybody, dude. Like, the foot traffic of the Rooster's Rest and just those people in Insane. general have, yeah. like, they, their mouths just, they just constant fucking chatter. So, Anyone could have known that these things were happening and then just were waiting for the next time for it to happen. And maybe they told, you know, you know, Fontaine, maybe you take the Rooster's Rest people there and they'll be in it on something in it for you. Like, who knows? But either like the fact that there's just not only was the SOP and the protocol that we all use completely ignored, but she like. Why would you bring civilians along on a maximum security transport for someone who is in that like I, I just are, hasn't planned with? Oh God. Yeah. So um. Yeah, that's your warden. That one. <laughs> that chick wants to be warden, guys. It's pretty impressive. So uh, as far as like who he's with, um, and where he is, obviously he's moving around. I mean. Like the, the text, the time between him texting or like tweeting out that, you know, like it was him tweeting, right? And then him specifically saying like, I got my phone back, not confirming that he was out, but just that he was allowed to have access to a phone so he can tweet, tweet out. And then he asked about this Pruno juice. It was like an hour or so. Um, and then I went back to my house. Sis had already said he'd been by his house. So he had to have tweeted out and place masks on, I mean, if, if it is him placing a mask, I don't know if maybe it's someone that knows he's out and they're like doing his bidding for him. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, it could be orchestrated. Yeah. For him, yeah. But he never, like from knowing him and he was never really, he was never very good at delegating. Yeah. That's the only thing that I can think of. Yeah, I think, I mean, he had a track him. record of trusting idiots. He's way too trustworthy for how big brain he was trying to be. 
You know what I mean? But he also, but if you notice all the time, he was always involved in it. He had idiots around him, but he was always there. Any robbery he oh, yeah. did, he was there. Yeah, he was the, the king yeah. idiot. Yeah, he was, he never, like, you never saw them rob a place for him or in his name, like. Yeah. Other people did. Other they people got... did once he had gone, but not while he was around. Really? We didn't have people like uh, Robin Banks and saying who, who, he, he, even though they were completely unrelated, just to throw us off. That was, was always funny. That was him. Oh. Like, I actually... They didn't allow people to go in uh, them, that mask, did they? No. I, I, no. Just, I, I remember we had... It was just, I, don't, I, th I think this is right. So we had... I remember we used to get reports of people getting, you know, fucked up. Sorry. We're getting fucked up or whatever um, because they're wearing no masks and they shouldn't yeah. have been. Yeah. I remember that happening. Gotcha. Like you weren't allowed to have that, you know? They didn't right. want people doing stuff in their name, even though the stuff that they were doing was pretty fucking stupid. I actually, right. uh, right. so I backed up uh, all of our CID files. Um, yeah. I kind of want to have a, go through that and see what's in there. Oh, dude, it's, it's a treasure trove. It's really great because <laughs> I took pictures of everybody. And then... um. Like there was, there's oh, like a, sh like a regular pro, like, you know how I broke it down? There's a regular profile sheet with like people's stats, with yeah. like their phone numbers, their, their, their properties, the vehicles, uh, their citizen IDs, whether or not we had their DNA and then photos of them. And then they also had their own photo folder. I don't, I don't think anybody realizes like how, how fucking epic the CID was. It was torn to shit but it is infinitely mean, better Papa? shut the fuck Pop up it. snow cid did nothing what do you mean but even like the current mcd doesn't is like nothing compared like i'm looking at this shit and i'm like oh my god we were crazy like we had that profile sheet and then all of their prior yes. charges and then we had statement sheets as far as like uh like uh involvements with them like every time that we had them for interviews or situations or interactions with anybody and then we had sheets that were all of the uh reports that went along with like the criminal activity and i have yeah. all of that for maximilian like i'm like looking at this shit i even have a timeline of everything that he's done like as soon as as soon as he started tar targeting jenny i took everything that he did and i was like okay I have to, th this guy is going away. And I remember talking to the DOJ. I came to them with this, with this report and was like, this motherfucker has like a long string of doing absolutely insane stuff. Like he needs to go away. Like, uh, uh, May 25th, uh, AK to shoot Captain Copper and three other officers at the power plant, tried to shut down the power plant, blew up a bus later that day, shot two civilians, is, and then there's an incident report. Take all bus awesome. passengers hostage. Demand police to forgive debt of every criminal over $50,000. Driver shot for not complying. Other civilians trying to be a hero were also shot. Also, May 25th, Bobby Smith was shot on Grove Street. Maximilian Thoroughbred her, uh, held AJ Hunter at gunpoint and made him leave the situation or he would murder everybody. Uh, he states that he refuses any involvement with Sis Fucker because he wants to spare him. Um, knows mother, a gray-haired lady, she's a possible love interest of Vita Nim, admits sixth visit to Palmer Taylor power plant, shot at least one cop per visit, claims to have organized an ambush Chief Snow premeditated attack on Grove Street. On May 24th, he robbed a bank with, uh, the hostage Trish, your old wife Snow. Uh, city bank robbery getaway, two motorcycles to the Ellis River where a boat was waiting. May 26th, Flinka Bank robbery shot five cops and mentioned slim do uh, a slim doorway. That had to do with the uh, Alabaster Slim and the cop killer records. Uh, yep. Three months ago, first crime was shooting Jenny Hall and Dante Wolf at a jewelry store robbery. He wants to dismantle the trust in law enforcement. Seems like he wants to prove law enforcement is ineffective and destroy the wait, civilian... Wait, 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 go back, go back. What? What was that last one? At the time that I wrote this, it was May 25th, 2019. And I Wait, wrote down he three months. He was the one behind me and Dante getting shot? Yes. I, I didn't know that. 
Okay, well, I put it on the report so everybody can read. I thought everybody would want to read this because I got him in an in interrogation when we caught him and I grilled him on every fucking piece of stuff that we had. I'm so sorry, I knew Jenny. everything else. I just, I didn't know. I didn't know the joy star bit. I, yeah. I knew everything else. I, I knew about him saying he used me. I, I knew all that. Uh, I just didn't know that bit. Uh, interesting. <laughs> Damn. That is, that, you were probably been waiting a long time. To... Holy shit. I didn't know you didn't know that. Well, hey, Jenny, you can join the, uh, shot down by young dab gang. <laughs> I mean, it, it it makes sense. It's just kind of more fucked sense. up that he did it to you because I thought he would spare you some of the... No, uh... but it, it, it makes sense because he, he then, like, after I got shot, he became a lot more friendly towards me. Huh. He must have felt bad. I, I don't remember yeah. the situation, so I don't know if maybe he was placed in a hard place. Not that it justifies or excuses him for doing what he did. I just don't know the circumstances of uh, what happened to you and Dante. I know that when that happened, that's when I first locked on to this report because I, I also knew that you were close with him. Yeah. And that's when I started tracking it and I took this investigation. And he, uh... I mean, there's more the if you guys want to keep going. Yeah, keep yeah. going. Just you have the manifesto on there and stuff? Uh, no, I don't have it written down here. Mm. Um... So he wants to dismantle trust in law enforcement. He seems like he wants to prove law enforcement is ineffective and destroy civilian population's trust in it. He displays pride and excitement in the idea of co uh, committing crime and leading cops in circles. He claims to have hit several banks without alerting police and setting off alarms. He takes extreme pride in bank robberies. He admits to everything with what's to be seems to be honesty but will not get, help us identify any of his accomplices that was very specific he did a lot of like really insane shit but he would never say who was also with him o other than like when we did catch him like people that we also caught alongside him and then uh i have like my own after interrogating my own analysis of him this is uh, uh, May 28th, 2019. Uh, I wrote, Maximilian Thoroughbred believes that his, his capture will encourage his accomplices and anyone he has worked with to, quote unquote, rise to his defense and to, quote, continue his work. He alludes that this is, quote, just the beginning. It is my firm belief that Maximilian Thoroughbred suffers from delusions of grandeur. He struggles with the false belief in one's own superiority, greatness, and intelligence. Though Mr. Thoroughbred exhibits self-esteem, uh, instead he believes in his own greatness and importance so intensely that even in the face of over overwhelming evidence to the contrary, he does not back down. And then I wrote a synopsis of uh, people that basically kind of suffer with that. I said this is uh, a... This is a type of delusion that occurs in people suffering from wide range of psychiatric diseases, including two thirds of patients in manic states of bipolar disorder, half of those with schizophrenia and patients with grandiose subtype of delusions disorder. Uh, it's a substantial portion of those with substance abuse and other abuse types. So that's just one sheet of him. Let me grab uh, one of the others. <clears throat> uh, this is actually from you, Hall. Uh, this was April 25th, 2019. Uh, you had taken all of Maximilian Thoroughbred's... Uh, financial record. He hasn't gone into debt as much as you had assumed, however, in the last few weeks has made extreme withdrawals and transfers and deposits. There's no explanation of how he's come into so much money, but he is associated with Alabaster Slim, who has been found twice now in possession of Class 2s. Thoroughblood is also associated with Otto Del Mar, who was reported to be heavily involved in cocaine business. 
Maybe we don't oh, talk God. about that. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, the finances didn't give me what I was looking for. And then you actually, there's like a link to your, um, to the bank records feed. I don't think Otto Del Mar is in any of that. He actually just opened up an auto shop. You know, autos, autos. I think I, it was a, yeah, yeah. I think it was a different yeah, guy. Yeah, uh, that was a different guy. Um, there's the next thing is on uh, April 26th. This is actually from Snow Defec Detectives. The following is a report written of today of Ellis Vault robbery. Blood was found on scene. Comes back to Dab. Both suspects were wearing no masks. And then it's a document that, you know, has all of like the photos and all the evidence that was placed inside it. It was a bank buster. And then this is my, uh, on May 25th, this is the Palmer Taylor power station incident. And this is just my report of what happened and how we uh, were trying to. It's just like my normal like police report of like what happened at the power station. Uh, is Owen uh, Sensen was actually the one that shot him down when we got him into custody and he brought him to me so I can do my uh, investigation. And then Svensson also had his notes for his the questions that he had for Thoroughblood. Um, was arrested on May 26, 2019. Um, I will give you guys, I don't know where you guys want me to place this link to the sheet if you guys want me to individually send it to you guys would you like that or yeah yes yeah, yes please uh don't um no, okay don't share this link and don't show it to anyone because I don't, otherwise I'm going to have to add your guys' emails and stuff and I don't want to go through that. No, it's fine. Right, there's um there's two documents this is both of the things that i was reading from i'm gonna see if i can give you guys the oh, link shit. to my um to my backup of the uh, cid stuff it's it, the same thing don't uh share that yeah, of course. Of course, yeah. Well, like the like the old one, um, where we had like a uh, that that was very organized. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. Uh, actually, can you guys uh, send me your email so I can just add you to this? Because I don't yeah. want to unlock this document. So you could see at the top everything it's underscore and then gangs and like you could see how we had it all broken down there were gangs and then I remember uh evidence locker mission row notes like for people that would uh before we had dispatchers and then the archive which is things that we just slowly archived over time after we exceeded those 30 days that we didn't have a part in to go beyond those 30 days the da's office so all of our uh back and forth with them uh dead those are our confirmed like uh, people that have been murdered. Actually, I think we have a murdered folder. But just uh, people that were found dead. Uh, internal investigations, don't go in that. <laughs> That's when I was uh, internal affairs and I, uh, I fired a bunch of people and then systematically was bringing people into TeamSpeak and questioning why the fuck they were doing stupid shit. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, there's murders, <laughs> search warrants. Every search warrant we've had that we got signed from the DOJ's offices in there. Stash houses, those information on stash houses. Something, some files are just missing. Uh, Bloodborne pathogen. I think that was that shit with Batman. Then there was the cocaine and crack investigation, Stark Web investigation, housing investigation, Oxycontin, Pixarium, street racing, vulture robberies, <laughs> uh, weed. Uh, templates, obviously you guys know what that is. And then everybody else that is in the blue in the rest of these folders, I'm gonna send this all to you once I add you guys. Um, these are these are people of interest that didn't fit in any of these organized crime gangs, like any of these groups. So these are just people that were of interest, yeah, but like their affiliation was too spread out to specify that they were a part of like this group exclusively. Does that make sense? Yeah. Snow, give me your email. Oh yeah, I, I, I've already got access to both of these. What do you mean? Uh, do you mean the new one? No, I think you do. Hold on. So we're gonna we're gonna have a lot to work with then with uh with this whole thing just off the off the bat uh it really depends on if people remember or not because it was such a long time ago uh what just any anything involving this pretty much or what, what do you what? no i mean like with with, with fucking thoroughbred and stuff oh well, I mean, pretty much everything that I remember is there. You know, obviously, the main thing for me was the getting shot on Grove Street thing. Pretty big. Mm -hmm. We didn't know who that was. Uh, well, obviously, that you know, it was people wearing no masks, and they took credit for it, but, but we didn't know that it was Young Dab in particular until we missed it. So. All right, you guys know that a um, vast majority of this information is uh, redacted. Right. BTW. It's kind of nice to reminisce, but, like, none of this really exists. But uh, you can find Thoroughblood underneath the uh, gnome gang, uh, the underscore gnome section. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. This is the, um, the, fo the folder that I'm talking about. And then, like, if you go into each of these, it has all of the uh, members of those gangs. And then these are all everything. There's much more in all of these um, folders. This used to be how the CID organized. But like, um, like these are the documents that I have on him. Let me see if there's anything with Bogos. All the members of Bogos. Dude, this is really, really old. Juan Flippy Carlos in it. <laughs> oh, dude. The Misfits. Doug Canada. Prune Gang. That's what that's what pissed me off so much is having people sit there and tell me that the CID didn't do anything. And I was like, what do you mean they don't do anything? I've linked you all of this shit. We actively use this. Like this is use all of the time like that's why we have like uh these are all of our search warrants Holy that we've fuck. done dude do you see all of our search warrants <laughs> yeah i'm just looking at them right now so like that's why i was kind of like uh, uh mine is chain gang warrants so i'm giving it a second and this is old the lean boy warrants specifically just like buddha uh, oh, dude. Alabaster Slim. Yeah. I was yeah, just I'm thinking about... I'm taking a bit of a trip through time at the moment. Yeah, this I know. Crazy. Trust me, I cracked this open as soon as uh, I saw stuff with uh, Maximilian was, was like... S this whole shit with him and the, the therapy and Fontaine and the DOC and all of this. And I was like, oh my god. I have information on this.
So you fucking tell me that the CID didn't do anything. I will fucking... I will eat your eyeballs. Yeah, that's a lot. Holy fuck. Hopefully we can uh, continue that trend of having a plethora of information for everybody in the department. Properly documented. Uh, I'm sure it exists. I just don't know where it all is, to be completely honest with you. I, I know I hammered on you guys. Actually, you guys are all CID members. And I know I was on everyone's ass of like, fill out your sheet, fill out your sheet. And like, everybody did it. And I, I know I was kind of a, like a hard bitch for all of it, but it, it saved our asses so many fucking times. Oh, no. Yeah, I agree. Well, the same way now, even we got, especially if you're in a, a investigator department, you should be doing your due diligence and doing the paperwork. Cause that's, that's part of it. If you don't want to do the paperwork, then, you know, you probably shouldn't be in, be a detective. It's a, a big part of the job. Yeah. The times you sit there and you go through paperwork for an hour and you know and then eureka you, you found a connection then you act on it you know it's just, that's kind of part of the job you know that's kind of what you have to do oh hall also um i think andrew de Stoll is looking for me probably uh yesterday he um, is yes he is he yeah. uh the parking attendants had told me that um, someone fitting his description was waiting around the parking lot and was asking about me. Yeah, he stands up there on the wall. Yeah. I gave him a coffee. Um, yeah, I, I don't... The thing is, uh, for these other investigators or everybody else all involved, I don't really know if any of this information is really meaningful to anyone. It's just kind of interesting. Because so much time has passed, I, I don't know what Maximilian Thoroughbred's like, uh, what his motives are n now. I mean, I could right. only assume that they're still the same and he wants to carry out the, the same plan as he had before. Is to, um, you know, like, uh, everybody else, uh, wants to discredit and dismantle the police department. And it's like, bitch, you need to take a tag and get in line. Like, we have cops that are dismantling the PD. Like, it's just... It's like, oh, okay. Oh, you you want to brag about breathing water? Or breathing air? And holding your breath underwater? Like, everybody does that shit. Like, you're not, like, really fucking special anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious what it is now. Because I can't imagine... Unless he was being fed information. Like, you know what I mean? Like, why would he... Like, two years later, like, this... I mean, I guess it's not too far-fetched, but at the same time, it's like, why? You know? Especially if it's a breakout. If he, if he like, just got, like, released on parole, and then, you know, he was talking to people and he heard rumors, like, hey, the, the police well, department is the same as it's always been, then here, maybe, yeah, but... This is how I understand it, because, uh, the people that I've had conversations that, you know, are obviously have issues with the police are the ones having issues with the police that fuck around and bend the rules of their job and abuse their power. So yeah, I get why people are pissed. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. you know, like if there's a few of them do it, then we all do it, right? It's easier yeah. to just, uh, you know, make grand sweeps over all of the entire police department. They absolutely don't trust people in this law enforcement agency and i don't blame them uh, i i don't trust any of our cops i don't think i've ever really trusted any of our cops i i trusted uh the state police team that i had and i trusted when uh i entrusted the cid but i've never really trusted any of our cops outside of that and since like you know i don't run the state police anymore and i cid has been gone for like three years now. Um, I'm just kind of like uh, watching everything burn. 
Yep, it's kind of... You know, what is what it is. <laughs> so when I hear, you know, criminals, uh, you know, they have these, they leave notes behind, they graffiti something, they uh, torture a person and leave behind a message, or I get Talon leaving me threats. Like, I, I don't, I don't blame them. I, I fucking get it. But like... <laughs> You know, like, uh, no one in the higher up is going to do anything about it. I'm not in a position to do anything about it besides, uh, be accountable for myself. You know? I mean, I mean that's how I feel. So, I don't know, Snow. I know that Dab wanted you, uh, fired. He thought that getting rid of Snow was going to reset the establishment. He wanted a few people dealt yeah. with. He wanted Snow fired. He wanted a, uh, I think something with uh, with Ripley at the time. Yeah. I forget. It was like it was like a whole thing. A bunch of domains. Some people get demoted. Some people get fired. All all this shit. Wanted the DOJ to reestablish itself. Yeah, I so. wish they would um, focus the DOJ. I would actually uh, join them. In their efforts if they uh targeted the doj oh my god how many times have we been promised that they would be uh restructured like four years now i mean but part of it is uh you know they're like anyone? okay we're gonna restructure it and then anyone snow and then they kind of get like left there <laughs> they even, they even how many like times a... have we been told that they're gonna restructure the doj oh many and rework times. it and yes and how many times does it happen? Uh, none, right? None. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I feel like I feel like they kind of get left there. They're like, yeah, you know, let's do something, and then like they kind of just get like stuck. Yeah, they haven't had like uh, I know Andrews is the warden, right? But like, but it's not, but you know, Andrews is, is very, very, very busy with police work here and other things how long has it been since they've had an you know there every day there for them all the time well i don't know how much he's there for the doc um but i mean i know andrews gets around and uh you know he really late na yeah but i i don't know how much he's actually since uh torah stepped down like the the doc has like been like in shambles Kind of fucking wild. But I mean, here's the thing is like, um, I understand the, uh, you know, the give and take, like when, when you're in the position at a, at a prison, you know, like there's a, a healthy balance of give and take with your inmates, right? For compliance and cooperation. And I can understand being um, a bit more malleable than I suppose like we would be because we're the ones sticking them in there and we can't really be that malleable, right? But these guys are, uh, you know, like forced to be with those lifers and the maximum security and the uh, gen pop uh, criminals that we, we fill up in the, in the prison. So I understand that there's a balancing act that they have to have that either through privilege or giving them special treats or allowing certain things to happen, looking looking away or turning the blind eye, you know. I understand needing that to get compliance and being able to like work things out so that your prison yard is workable and people aren't just like mass murdering and shaking each other because of what what restraints and restrictions they have in their power right so i get that but when it spills over into what we do and our expectations and how we get punished for not doing things and then they are completely negligent then that's not okay because their world is not our world and our world is not their world you know? 
I agree with that. But, uh, I mean, either way, um, deal with it, you know, as, as it is now. So, mm. uh, I'm you have a lot of information, Kappa, actually. I, I didn't think you had that much. <laughs> you, you know some people. Bitch, please. <laughs> I know a lot of people. Yeah. So that's good. Uh, I mean, obviously you're, you're you're the head of this whole thing, so. Um, actively. So I was talking with Dukakis. I think Kareem was there for that conversation. Um, we're trying to get a conversation with uh, Fontaine. Um, because I need to know more details of how the ambush happened, what kind of vehicles they were driving, if they used, you know, class two guns, what kind of class twos were present, if they only used pistols, if they had mollies, like, did they have specific types of vehicles for creating a blockade so she, that she couldn't drive away? How many right. were actively there? What did they say? Like, I, what were they wearing? Were they wearing no masks? Were they wearing some other different type of masks that weren't? Like there's there's little details about this that I want to know, that could kind of like explain a bit more as to what we're looking for, you know? Yeah, uh, I talked with Daisy this morning. She she's she's pretty tired, so she's gonna go to sleep. But I think she's yeah. uh she's got all the questions lined up, if not working on them. So I have a whole bunch of questions uh, ready for her. Yeah. So we're anyway. gonna go from there with that. Uh, as far as, as far as the police side, I do still want to find out. I got to talk to Clarence, uh, and find out because apparently people didn't yeah, like, listen did. to him when he was saying that a terrorist broke out. Like, everyone thought he was joking. Ha ha ha. Uh-huh. Uh, until he, until he straightened everybody the fuck up yeah. and said, Hey, then this is fucking serious. I, I kind of want to get those officers in a room and be like, what, what the fuck are you guys thinking? And, 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 and seriously make them reconsider doing that ever again. Um, and then on top of that, uh, the second transport or whatever, where, you know, DOC was told to fuck off. Like I said yesterday, uh, like DOC, that they know our, our protocols. They know not to just get on radio and say shit. Like it's just kind of a give EMS knows that DOC knows that anybody that has, that's a government worker that has access to our radio frequency knows that you don't get on radio and say dumb shit. So if she got on radio to say something, it was probably important. They told her to fuck off, which is, which is unacceptable. Yeah. And that needs to be punished as well. So Did they I, say I, who? Who that was? No idea. I, I, so I got to find out. So I, I got to talk to Font. We got to talk to Fontaine and figure out when that was and narrow it down to like when it happened. Those officers can be talked to. Uh, I, I, I have like zero tolerance for, for that type of shit. That should not be happening. If there was an active situation going on, you don't tell them to fuck off. You, you work with them and figure out like mm -hmm. how you can handle it say leave active situation sorry and then like you know you don't you don't do that uh so uh i'm just for the proactive stuff with uh maximilian uh we're trying to talk to fontaine and get that information uh the other part is um i'm gonna talk with uh kane larp and ask him kind of what happened in in his words like what he witnessed because he was with fontaine when they got ambushed and uh i want to ask I want to see what he says versus what she says. Mm -hmm. Um, also, uh, his, as of yesterday afternoon, his bank activity is currently being recorded. Yeah. I saw that. I saw that go up. So, on so you guys see that, uh, and, uh, they have, I guess their protocol. I didn't even actually hear what was their protocol for wanting to approach him. Like, is Multiple it? Multiple units. That was it. And are, can we just like shoot him in the fucking face? Wasn't sad. Just had multiple units. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I mean, I imagine it'd be you know, stop Render or get or shot. die. Essentially, escape terrorists. So I can't see any of the. If he flees, I, I want to use like ten spike strips for no reason, just to yeah. piss him off. Fuck him. <laughs> What a, I mean, what a bitch. Do you guys remember that fucking, that, that cockhead that he had that went like 300 miles an hour? The blackfin, yeah. Yeah, the blackfin. Dude. Sadly, he even had to run the Mustang, that son of a bitch. I know, fuck that God. thing. Stupid. Is that one on fire. He's old. He, His neck is a ball sack. Why does he have that car? 
I mean, hey, that's a, that's probably a good uh Because he was then. having a midnight crisis, going through a divorce, and couldn't remember his own kid's oh, name. Oh, he divorced? Oh, shit. Oh, he was going through a divorce from his bitch wife, Susan. Oh, is her name Susan? Yeah. But then I he never told me the kid's name. It would he never be unfortunate if him. Susan showed up. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we have Susan <laughs> hanging from the uh, fucking uh, Legion Square. Oh, I'm feeling really tired. I'm just kidding, just kidding. No, no, no. Oh my god. We're not gonna do that. Do you ever find someone in life that you just want to see suffer because it's really funny? Oh. Yes. Yeah. No, I don't. That's never happened to me before. I can't really. Oh. It's happened before. Someday you you do. It's like I have enough hatred in my heart yet. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta find it first. Someone's gotta get me real upset. I wanna play as kid. What did he wait, did he say what his kid's name was? Billy was one of them. I can't Billy? remember the girl. Yeah, I can't remember the girl. <gasps> Why do I know fucking Oh know? <gasps> dude, what if we use I know I know the player this model is, is already happens. used, but what if kids, we use the little okay. little tugs? See the kids alone. Head model <laughs> was like Billy, and I'm like, I like rap dog. Wait, okay, never mind. I like rap dog. How old were they? I don't fucking know. Eh. I mean, you know, if they were, you know, 16, young, then they're, they're 18 I, they now, so you know, they were young. Adults. That's all I can remember. He was old. I don't know. How old is 40 year old? How old are 40 year old kids? I don't know. Your parents are 40? How old are you? I don't fucking know. <clears throat> All I'm saying is if his kids are adults, then they're old enough to be used as bait. No. But they're adults. They're no, grown. They live here. Leave them alone. All right. They're already bad enough that they wake up every day and look, look they're ball sack of a dad's in the uh, Dara's. I'm going to have them called Little Dip because there's right. dab and dip. All right. Well, that's it. I guess we'll just follow the Daisy. Uh, in the coming days and go from there. When I uh, place I'll my hand up on your hip, I uh, and you dip, we dip, we right. dip. Sure, I'm dip, I'm sure. dipping, Dad. Robert, do you think he'll try and contact you? <laughs> yeah. Give me like a corn chip. Oh my god, dude, I can't. He's trying to contact you, Jenny. No. Yeah, he, he probably will. Though. He will for copper. He has some like she was Ooh. there at the end. True. I think he mm. made his sentiments about me known at the end. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even remember the last thing we said to each other. Uh, Listen, a lot of a lot of shit was happened. He wasn't speeding. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, like it was a text. I was the last person uh, he talked to when we were leaving. And the max suck, and we were closing it. I told him that I would uh, bring him cereal for him to eat. Kevin showed up for him burgers for like three months and kept giving them to me to give to him. And I used to leave him by the door. Oh god. You should probably be on the lookout um, for. Uh, can can people? Does, can can we? Can people even get black pins? Like are they are they imported into the city? Yeah. Yeah. You can. A standard vehicle in the city. Just, he's not gonna go and get a fucking black. I mean, I mean no where, Shaw. Have I you guys mean, heard from Kevin Shaw? No. No. Last no. I heard, he was living his life. Being depressed in another part of the world. Hmm. I don't know. Do you remember when he came back for that one <laughs> week and he was friend. a mess? Yeah, he came back Dude. for like that one week and he looked like he'd been like to hell and back. Yeah. Fuck Kevin Shaw, man. He's a dickhead. Yeah. He used to run out a fucking stash as of the people. Fuck that guy. Yeah, Shaw yeah. fucks. Yeah, Shaw sure was a dick. Dude, I'd have arguments with him for hours about law. Yeah. He terrorized me with a no mask after dab got put in max sack. Yeah. The fuck? Yeah, he came to my house and tried that. to tell me that dab was a good person and that anyone could wear the no mask and proved it by in the middle of my living room putting on a no mask. Damn. Dude, that's fucked. That is. We should. What a sick that's fuck. bitch. He's yeah. such a naughty boy. <laughs> You should definitely be looking out for the thing, things like uh, 
old sentiments to what he used to do he, he probably might i don't know what i i don't I, I think you guys know more than i than i ever will kevin law but if kevin he shaw attorney wants to shaw. fuck with us or anything like that what is what is that i wouldn't he be said, surprised oh, if we got fuck. a black fin does anybody have that clip contact. anymore well, ltt made a song for kevin shaw kevin, kevin shaw, shaw attorney was his lawyer. you know what i'm saying like fuck. all these like little connections like what he said or something fuck is classic uh, piece of shit muscle car we've got fucking interceptors i'll shit all over his piece of shit black fin uh, 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 that's good that's good Good. That's what we want. Don't you remember that he had a Lambo before a Blackfin? Fuck his Lambo. Lambo's a pussy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, he might Lambo. get a Lambo. He's too pussy yeah, to spend Lambo life suck. in prison, so he got broken out. So, might be too pussy to get a Lambo and, and get oh. a Lambo. Uh, other things. Um, I told other uh, Dukakis this, but uh, just to be on the radar, if anyone is putting out any new songs and they make reference to Young Dab, we need yeah. to note that down. Whether it's not like yeah, dumb big. dad, you know, thinks yeah. he's out on the streets. I ain't seen that bitch. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Or anything, any reference to how, how rolling with word. young dab in the past or anything like that. Because that could definitely place them as into, uh, you know, their affiliation, like, directly, you know? I buy how every single one of OTT them. to young dab. Um, Do you guys remember? Close. Mm, close. They were close. Yeah. They were pretty close. Yeah, they were close. OTT okay. was brand new in the city. He... He, was he, made, he made he made a song about him, a long yeah. dab. Yeah. Yeah. After he was got so okay, so you know if uh, OTT starts you know writing music about dab, then yeah, we need to look into that. I yeah. mean, if he gets time to leave Brogue Street and not get shot down. Um, yeah. I said this to Dukakis, <laughs> but the only good thing that Young Dab ever did is he helped get rid of the wizard at the docks. He also saved my oh, life. My fucking wizard. The fucking wizard. <laughs> So giving everybody class two is like it's fucking nothing. Fuck, like it's candy. Like, 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 you remember when we went down dispenser. there and we like and we like did it for like an hour with all the big serum we'd saved up just to see what we could get? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then we just found out it was fucking class twos. Yeah. yeah. Great. Just class twos all over and over again. Fucking great. Well, I, luckily for me, I buy every single one of OTT's mixtapes because I'm a huge fan. So I should have no issue of you are. Uh, studying all of his music. Oh, He's good. Uh, I He's expect planning. results, Kareem. Yeah, I, I, I'll, 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 I'll listen to his bars. I'll see what he has to say. Um, I don't know where to put any of this information as far as like me getting this no mask or whatever. I guess I'll just make up a civilian report. It'll, I'll make it a... Like I did last time, I basically made a timeline of what was happening. Yeah, so that that's what in I've the event doing. that these like, like a paramount to something, then we have reference and maybe maybe something happened to you guys and you didn't realize it was a big deal until much later. And then you know the time frame of that in conjunction to all this other shit and we can p piece together a much bigger picture of what the fuck's going on. Yeah. Um, so I've, what I've been doing is I've been making investigative reports um, and using those as an info dump um and having yeah. a timeline so i have the same thing for like gsf for well, example. you use the tags um it's just uh, uh i think i called it gnome gang or gnomes this is gnomes gnomes yeah he he who who uh they wanted they wanted there to be a specific maximilian thoroughbred tag but like gnomes is good enough I think right, the gnomes is big enough because, like, uh, if he gets out, he's definitely going to be reaching out to the people that he could trust, even though they're a bunch of fucking idiots. Gnomes is more or less, uh, if, if that's not his MO anymore, considering he was found with a monkey mask, right? Uh, right. And uh, gnomes, if anything, is just a keyword internally. Uh, so I think yeah. it's fine. As long as everyone knows gnomes associates with this whole thing, then it shouldn't really be an issue. That's the photo from the MDT. And I'll, uh, I'll reiterate that in meetings as well, every so often, let people know. Anything that involves, if it, people find out anything, who, who, he, he's outside of banks, anything like uh -huh. that. Anything involving thoroughbred, or even if you think it might involve thoroughbred, just put that nose tag in there. Uh, but we yeah. got to contact the IT department because it was just a huge, I don't know, I think uh, Emma was telling me yesterday, I don't know if you... Wait, talk uh, to me about it because I might have already talked to the IT department about it. We cannot search incidents by number, period. Oh, it does not work. incidences, not just reports. Or, or both, both. Sorry, incidents both. and reports. We cannot search them by number, which is which is very detrimental. Trying to cross-reference uh, things like casings and shit like that. 
Oops. Is it uh, involving incident? <sighs> okay, all right, let me try something. Because I already talked to the IT guy about that, so I'm going to see if it uh, has been fixed. Okay. I was trying to uh, do the meeting and it wasn't working. No, it's not. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's pretty big. It's very hard to <laughs> very hard to go through stuff without that. You said you wanted to meet, speak to Mina, right? Yeah. Um, on duty, turn to dispatch. All right, she give was doing me a thing with Bass a and, uh, second. She was doing a thing with Bass and uh, Everly, so. I think they're back. I just saw Everly. But uh, those three units on that uh, MCD operation, that's, that's Bass, Everly, and uh, Mina. But I just saw Everly here, so they might be done. They're tailing uh, Lang Buddha. get some food we're right back oh also snow i i text a handful of you guys when i went off duty five hours ago jesus christ okay all right i'm glad you're all right i just want you to know who i was hanging out with and obviously, when I told you, uh, all of this makes more sense because I told you guys how Rooster's Rest was involved with the, uh, being this voluntary DOC, which has never been heard of before. Um. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a little scary to go with them. But, like, uh, they're my primary suspects, and I, they know this in, uh, the, mis the, the fact that Malfurion is missing. So I don't think that they would do anything to me. <gasps> Holt's got an, uh... Holt's got a, uh, um... An offer for employment for... Our departments. Oh, I'm just gonna be... Gonna be in the corner for a second. Okay. Hello, I'm here. Hi. Oh, hey, Mia. Hi, Snow. Hey, I can need you... I turn this off. Can you send me over all of that stuff that Trigger gave you? Remember, like a yes, bit ago. One second. Like, just email it over to me. One second. So this uh this breakout or ambush situation with um Young Dab has a lot to do with uh, Fontaine. Uh, there's a lot of negligence on both sides with uh, the PD blatantly ignoring her. But uh, Fontaine um, using volunteer DOC, which isn't a thing, to be her backup during the transport of a max security lifer inmate. Pe well, pending uh, parole, but he was life in max security for terrorism. And she used a bunch of employees uh, from the Rooster's Rest to be volunteer DOC. The DOC doesn't even have a volunteer program, and and all of and they like she used like maybe one. I think it was like one. It was a, a DOC cadet and one other DOC officer actually in this um, in this operation that she had. But the actual certified DOC officer was a part of a decoy and didn't know what Fontaine was actually doing and Fontaine choose to take a bunch of employees of the Rooster's Rest as volunteer DOC to help transport uh, Maximilian Thoroughbred. I really wish you were joking. <laughs> I'm but not even kidding. Not. I'm not even fucking kidding, dude. Like, this is... 
So I need to get this stuff, uh, yeah. Um, I did email you what he had sent over to me. Okay. Um, there was one thing that he did tell me that he didn't put on there, but it was basically that they had already like gone to Andrews apparently about this and Andrews just- What about, about said, what? Oh, what's about, in this like, document? About like stuff she had been doing. Yeah. So like the stuff in the document and he told me that Andrews was just like, leave it alone. Like he didn't want to hear it. <laughs> Okay, well, like, here's the thing is, like, when it spills over into, uh, like, our jobs, it's a little bit different. They need to learn yeah. how to contain their bullshit. I guess that's what it comes mm -hmm. down to. Like, if they want to, you know, be fuckwits and play grab ass, you know, like, it's, it's like the same thing here in the PD. Like, we can fuck with each other, but as long as it, it doesn't spill over into other people's shit, because that's how it becomes serious, you know? Yep. So, she needs to contain her shit and fucking not be a dumbass. I agree. Hey, thanks. So, all right. Well, apparently Fontaine's already been uh, put on suspension. I forgot uh, what they wrote for how long. And then she has some other disciplinary bullshit that's going on. Um... Uh, Trigger's very afraid that he's gonna lose his job. Apparently somebody, um, looked on the- he- Trigger came to talk to me about a bunch of information regarding, uh, Thoroughbred's, uh, breakout. And I took him over to my grassy hill where I go talk to everybody. Like, I don't care if anybody sees me there. But someone went out of the way to, uh... I don't know, take a snapshot of that and then complain to Fontaine about it. <laughs> Which is really fucking weird and sus. So, I mean, if DOC is not allowed to talk to cops, then why do they fucking hang around the PD and come to our meetings? So, like, I, I don't know what her problem is, uh, if she wants to cherry pick. And, uh... I don't know be a rat that way but it's not well, from okay. what i was told she has kind of tried to like take over the doc right she wants to be a warden yeah and so i think it's a it's like a power thing like maybe she just doesn't want people not following her lead and he's been one of the main people right well i can go and talk following. to whoever the fuck i want but that oh, no, doesn't mean that she 100%. can like uh what like threaten this person i agree and wait, I mean, wait, no, what, what power thing wait what what? Fontaine. And I mean, I, I guess maybe she should be fucking scared. Like, if somebody is gonna tell me something, like, I'll go after her. I'm not afraid of her. <laughs> wait, 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 how did, wait, what happened? Dude, uh, I don't wait, even what? know where to begin. You haven't been paying attention. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, like the the thing I was listening to, and then the, the, the what did you say about the power thing? What? I said that Fontaine is kind of trying to take over DOC, so the fact that you know, she caught wind of somebody from it's DOC no having like a private meeting with Copper. It might be like a power thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, like... no, I can get some. Okay, Thank sense. you. Okay. Sorry. I just, I just missed it. But yeah, uh, just from hearing that, I don't understand how any of that was allowed to have happened. Someone's being a bitch in chat. Dude, we're all bitches. Come on. It just does not make sense to me. I don't understand how that happened. You sit back there, you sip your Capri Sun, you shut the Yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, but, uh, I think we just set, set a, a way to handle that moving forward. Obviously, communication with the PD is probably a priority to get that ball rolling. Um, but she was told to fuck off one time. So maybe she thought, you know, not defending her, but devil's advocate. Oh, well, you know. Right, but getting told the fuck off doesn't absolve you or give you an excuse to be completely negligent and actively going against SOPs for uh, transportation. Right. Like those are not indicative of the other. Right, like right, she was right. still, yeah, she, um... regardless of cops uh, responding. Uh, why was she bringing employees of the Roosters Rest as volunteer DOC? 
Okay, she's gonna put, she's gonna set her foot self, uh, self up. Like, and right? if she didn't have backup, then reschedule the transport. It's like you're just asking for it, and then you're just like, oh my god, I can't believe that happened. That's crazy. <sighs> like what? Anyway, um, I think that's all for uh, Young Dab. I just needed to tell you guys this information because I. I'm kind of scared, but I'm not scared. And Hall, I needed you ne to know because uh, I don't know if he's gonna reach out to you. Same protocol as before, uh, just so whatever delusions that he might have that might be between you guys, uh, just so you have plausible deniability, I need you to communicate anything that happens with you guys. Okay. Okay. All right. Otherwise, I think we're good. Okay. All right, perfect. Copper, same for you. Uh, yeah, no, you I... You and uh... him aren't so hot, so... I don't want to see you getting hurt either. Yeah, I don't... I don't want to get shot by this prick again. <laughs> yeah. Fucking prick, Me bro. Me neither. Prick. Boy, fucking... Fucking nutsack neck. He's got a wrinkling nutsack. <laughs> I'm not wrong. Wow. I'm not wrong. I'm sorry, Jenny, but your taste in men is like very questionable right now. Okay, don't tell me he had a great personality because we know that's not true either. I can't hear Hello. you. Yo. I'm gonna go put a uniform on. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you look great. Just go and treat like that. It'll be fun. Yeah. Okay. Stop. <laughs> it's me, the police. And I'm looking Fashion, really that's, sick. That's all right. <laughs> okay, here's my prediction. I read you guys my synopsis. Everybody got to hear it at the same time. So that was kind of nice. My prediction is that Young Dab is going to get caught slipping and he's going to get brought in for something absolutely fucking stupid. And then there's going to be a transport and they're going to ambush a transport, like a true police transport. That's, I'm calling it right now. Oh, hi. Hey. Hey, come with me into the lab. We're going to analyze this blood that All I found right. at my house. All right. We got the plane. Oh, <gasps> wait, wait, which one? The cargo one? Mm-hmm. <gasps> Did you already fly it? Yeah. You want to try it How out? How is it? It's fucking cool. Okay, Snow, I have to tell up. you about an experiment I did, okay? All right. Oh, hold on. Hey, Dean. What do we need to talk about? Um, This is like a in-person kind of conversation. All right. Uh, let me give you a call when uh, I can meet up with you, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, All right, bye bye. All right, bye bye. How do I? I'm analyzing. You're very smart. This looks like blood. So it's blood, okay. You've been to, uh, you've been to see both today? Uh, no, I haven't. Been a lot of people there today. Pretty, uh, there's a lot of messages on the tree and stuff. Will you come with me? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's, um, it's kind of crazy. We we arrested Vinny earlier for street racing, and we went up to oh, yeah. JC Bo. Oh, yeah. There was a guy there that sounded like <laughs> really sounded exactly like him. What? Are you serious? Yeah. 
Like intentionally? It was... No, it's just his voice. He just sounds a lot like him. And it was really like, I was like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it as crazy. Has this person been swabbed? <laughs> it's club. DNA taken. Okay. Uh, this is club's DNA. Club was bleeding all over my driveway, apparently. Thanks a lot, club. You fucking prick. Hmm. Alright, interesting. Why was, why was he... <laughs> it was like by my door. <laughs> no. That's, that's random. Fucking club. Well, there was mm. other blood, other, I don't know. I watch the HOA a lot, and they, uh, they just run around in circles around each other and punch each other and tackle each other and knife each other, and they'll randomly shoot each other and be like, oh, that was an accident. I'm like, I'm okay. they gangs? No, mm. I'm talking about the HOA. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they run yeah, each other. Go and, uh, sorry, go. Oh, no. What, what's I was going? No, you're good. I was, I was just going to say to Kareem, I'm about to go up and see Bo. I don't know if you've been up there today. Yeah, do you want to come with us? I have not, yes. With. Yes, I do. I got, uh, Leia gave me this earlier. I, I don't know if she's still around, but she was giving these out. <gasps> oh. Okay, sorry. Here you go. That was yeah. very, very I'm going to get some, um, some water and sandwiches, and then I'm ready to go. I didn't take it. Hey. Hey, asshole. Hey, Snow! Yeah? Who is this prick? What's Dante? Dante, he's on his lunch break. Ew, why... His hair doesn't match. He stopped dyeing it. <laughs> he's trying a new look. He's trying, to, he's trying to go with the Columbo look. That's what I call okay, it. Okay, but Dante's like 16, guys. What the... Ah. Oh, the Aston Martin was stolen. Moon shoe and blowing cheeks. Right. Outside the jewelry store about well, outside the ago. jewelry store is the location of their construction site that Andy works with Dean for. That's oh. where they that's where they uh, have people come. Like if uh, you have a business and you want to um, like reconstruct a building for the sake of that business, like Autos Autos, you know, had they had to go in renovate and stuff, you have to go to their construction company there and they basically go to the property and tell you how much money it's going to cost and and then they do the paperwork so that you can get your custom business building does that make sense uh yes yeah, it's like a it's like it's like a it's like an office basically. yeah they go so i mean i could see why his vehicle would be there and i truly believe that it would be stolen he just uh called me mm. i mean it's not i don't think he has like a parking place to like put it you know Damn, they got a whole Are we gonna fly a helicopter out there? The fucking parking yeah, space. For the goddamn CEO. I would fire every single one that works there. Isn't it weird that a construction company doesn't have the construction to have like parking spots for their? Yeah, that's what I just, that's what yeah, I just yeah. Said. Just very strange. That's crazy. Can you even give me a goddamn <clears throat> parking space? You're fired. Snow, what happened to your door? I don't know. What'd you do? Nothing. I didn't crash it. No, I didn't crash it. I honestly haven't been flying very much. The last time I flew was, um... Mac and I got shot out of the sky during, uh... A turf shootout with the, uh... What the fuck are they called? It's like, um, Guy Jones and Peanut. Ah, uh, okay. I forgot what their group is called. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure. Good 
good to see us now. Hi. Okay. Hey guys. Yo, hello. How are you guys doing? What's going on, Sarah? Yes. Good to see you. Hey, Sarah. Good how you doing? You. Good. Good to see you, Sarah. Just, just reminiscing. You know how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Got weed. Got bowberry Kush. All right. You can smoke some on duty, just because you can. Thank you, sir. Just no more than nine. I'm watching. Oh, dude. <laughs> I mean, you know what? Both yeah. give a fuck, and I'm not gonna yeah, give a true. fuck either. So. I don't care. Today, I don't. I don't care. Amen. Yeah, tsunami uh, destroys all the scenes, so they have to be uh, recreated. Idiot. Happy birthday, Blue. Hashtag never forget. gonna come back uh i don't know she's usually in the yellow pages i don't know i think i have a number maybe i don't know hi i got something for you thank you I was uh, looking at videos like a month or so ago when um, Bad Fresh was going through like past VODs. Thank you. And like highlights to like put things in uh, the YouTube. And I remember <laughs> in the, the crab bit with uh, Bobby at the very end, like after Bobby and I were just being... <laughs> We did emergency surgery on a crab that Bobby found at the beach because I was using him as a distraction because I was allowing um, Randy Sir, and Rami you, you two, to, you two uh, inseparable. Could not to find one kidnap the other. a person and teach them a lesson because this person wasn't like, mm. it wasn't going to stop because they were fucking with the police. And so I was just like, well, I'll let Randy and Rami take care of it. The, Definitely like, being corrupt, to, right? They'll, they'll like but the Bobby at the time... Just like do a real robot was uh my yeah, go ahead. my cadet i was chief uh, assistant chief of police and at the end of the bit I you know like the water tanks that are in a uh, pillbox we oh, put yeah. Yeah. our <laughs> crab that has a really prosthetic yeah, leg like yeah. in the tank and that's where what our that crab one? lived and as Bobby and I were arguing over this fucking crab in the tank and stuffing each other in this tank and like having this whole st just stupid degeneracy Bo just walks behind us and he's like You too Like something is fucking Like he says something like What the fuck is wrong with you Or like you all are weird And then he just walks away And it's just funny that For him to say that Because Bo 
Bo is like one of those, like if he was in that bit, he was definitely in that bit. But it's just very funny for him to like, Bo of all people to call us weird was like the icing on the cake. And I totally forgot about that happening. And I saw it like uh, at the end of the uh, highlight when Bad Fash was putting it on YouTube. Dude, he, his humor was on point. He may not be like the loudest person, but he understood like uh, timing and like he understood uh, people. And that's why I think he was really good at helping and always so like, uh, like willing to help people. The only other person that I can I could say that was that's very much like uh, Bo is uh, Anthony Z. Like the two of them are like the 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 number like the the top people that I know that will stop and give people the time of day. Yeah, he was. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, he brought him to a heist with one gr with one gun for the whole group. Yeah, tutorial Tony. Either be needing the joint. Yeah, you can take what you want. No, I was, I was saying, did you need another one? Um. Oh, I'm good. Bo was the name of a character, uh, yeah, by yeah, a guy on Twitch one. who had yeah, the yeah. name, um, Blue. There you go. And his so name is an extra just Kenny. Uh, he was a member of No Pixel, from like. I think he. I don't know if he joined when I joined. He was around when I first started. And he was just, um, he played a criminal, yeah, we'll check it out. but he was like one of those criminals that, um, it wasn't really about proving that the cops were stupid. It wasn't really about like proving that he was never, he was never ever out to like prove anything to anyone, but he, uh, I don't know. Everybody knew blue because like he would see a person and be like hey and he would talk to anyone he'd be like hey what's up how is your day going like what are you doing are you doing anything well i'm about to go do this thing do you want to come with me like that's just blue in a nutshell it doesn't matter who you were what you're what was going on like if you saw a person that had no eyebrows and was like wearing a weird outfit blue would be like hey let's go shopping <laughs> and fix you out like, uh, give you something that you can, like, work with, you know? He was absolutely a grinder and a complete degenerate. He was the best. He, uh... He never, uh, truly got upset with anything. He would get bummed out about things, but, like, he's human, you know? He's got feelings, too. Um... Like an old, old, old new pixel, like on holidays. Uh, I've said this before, but like uh, we all used to drink and get on the server and like drink together. Like for those of us that uh, didn't go see family or already got home from seeing family for holidays. And like Bo would always try and do some kind of crime while he was shwasted. And then Anthony Z and myself and Harry Brown would be plastered as cops and we would be chasing him around and running after him and like Bo would shoot <laughs> like there's there's just a lot of stuff with him he's it was never like a bad time yeah he was along for the ride yeah he was <laughs> pretty stoned you'd be like dude i'm i'm too high for this Good to see you guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You okay? Hi, guys. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.
Oh, you good. Thank you. Of course, thank you. I love you. Stay safe. Love you. Sorry, I was just doing something. I just had to sit there for a second. 23 hours and I'm high as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Um, in 2.0, uh, when we had all of the uh, real estate stuff, that was the house in 2.0 that Bo lived in. So that's why it's that house. And then Bo was a part of the, the racing scene, and he drove that Mustang, and everybody knew <laughs> Bo's Mustang. And the model that's standing there, that's like a... That's like... Bo's like a signature outfit that he would normally wear like he would be dressed up for like different jobs or and stuff but like when he was out on the streets like just doing his thing um that's what he looked like so that's why that uh NPC is there um I think that's Glenn I think her character's name is Stitches Ah, fingled dams around. It's been dangling. I think I met him before. I bought a new motorbike yesterday. What kind? Uh, Snow, what kind? I can't even fucking hear him. <laughs> so did you say what kind? I don't want to get crushed by a cargo plane, so I'm kind of like... <laughs> yeah, that's all good. What yeah, kind of sorry, motorcycle? it was an Akuma. Uh, oh, an Akuma. Akuma, okay. Yeah. Nice. Does yeah, it have a lot nice. of modifications or...? Uh, I went and got some Xenon lights with it. So I've got engine two. Uh, and an exhaust, and that's pretty much it. You can't really do a huge amount to it. A Coomer? Right, who's, who's flying? A Coomer? No, a Coomer. A-K-U-M-A. Oh, I thought it was a Coomer. Like, yeah. a, there was an R, but you're being English and saying... <laughs> <laughs> nah, not this stuff. You sure? Or are we flying to? Yeah. Okay. Hey, why Where don't you, you uh, prove to us that you can land on the aircraft to... carrier snow? Because I've got food. Yeah, I will, but I've got food arriving very, very shortly. Well, I've got food. Oh, I know, well. What are you getting? Um, Probably sushi. Well, actually, I just I, this time I went for a, I went answer. for a katsu curry uh -huh. with some sticky rice okay. instead. Okay. Not katsu. sushi. Not at all. Not a no. not a roll on the side or anything like that. No. Huh. Okay. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. I'm serious. It's it's gonna be nice. I'm looking forward to katsu curry. Who's flying? One, two, three, not it. All right. Can you get... Oh, Snow, I have to tell you about my science experiment that I did. Oh. The keys. I would give them to you again. Um, I had this theory with the yeah. cargo bob. Okay? Okay. And in my theory... In my... Scientific theory... Thesis... Um, I thought maybe... I could use the cargo bob to pick up a police helicopter and then we could cargo bob fly a police helicopter over to a location high enough, deploy the helicopter, and then you would start the engine in the air and take off. Hope you're doing well. You ask yourself... Like a Virgin Galactic launch? Yes. I like that. And then you ask yourself, well, what situation would we use this in? And why would basic... The answer is... uh. Whatever we can find, it doesn't matter. I don't know how this is applicable to anything, but it would be really sick, right? Yes, it would be. So I, I tried this out, and there's no way to attach the helicopter to the cargo bomb. You can't even attach airplanes to the cargo bomb. Any, any, um, any vehicle of flight doesn't have any of like the uh, the hooks. That you need for the uh, cargo bob to latch onto. Uh, okay. I wonder. I 
I wonder if that, that would be yeah, you could, fucking funny. You could pick up the rhino. Are there people going through error? Is there a race going on? Where do you see him? I don't, I wasn't looking. Uh, yeah, I don't see him. Uh, look on GPS. Oh. oh. Yeah, probably. Shit. What is, uh, what is this, uh, okay. plane called? A Titan. Channel 2 has a 1080 on it, and there's two units, so it looks like they got a third. Yeah. All right, let's go. They would have to go through all of the, um, like, yeah, the airplane like models and, awesome. like, enable whatever, whatever identifier or node or whatever is attached to that model that lets that action with the hook um, be active. Or they have to be like remodeled. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's a bunch of extra work, but yeah, it stays and for, for no like, fucking uh, reason at all. But in my mind, minutes. wouldn't that be sick? Like a helicopter birthing another helicopter and it cool. just flies away. You gonna have Are we gonna make it to uh? uh oh, thank you. Yeah, no, you'll be fine. Okay. Worth it. Dude, was it Y Maps that GTA is like modeled in? Yeah, I think you can land it. Easy. Bunch of shit? Okay. The house oh. Mom's driving. Drill it. Oh my god. Nope, I'm a fucking dumbass. Oh fuck yeah. I don't even see where the uh This actually doesn't have any other tags anywhere else. This direction. I don't see yeah. I'm about to go down a bit. I see it, I see it. Pretty much straight ahead. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh my god, this is Bobby. Um I mean, you can either go in from the incorrect way or the correct way. And it's up to you. Uh, the way you did, that was the correct way, right? Yeah. too much further out, otherwise we're going to crash and burn. No, I don't want to 
of this. Fuck. I just wanted to copy it. Okay, the um the search stuff should be working. In the MD MDT. MDW. Oh, <gasps> send the engine back on the go break. Oh, we're fucked. Your takeoff, correct. Correct. Take off, take off, take off. Take off, dog. Yo. Oh, oh. oh holy shit. Oh, oh my, my god. god. You did it. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, so you have to use the extra slipway right at the end, I think. This is the best way. Oh my god. <laughs> that was really close. Yeah. Dude, cream, you're god. Nice. Can cream talk while he's flying? I don't think so. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Yeah, kind of. Hey. Right. Holy fuck, that was crazy! Okay, I can do this. Yeah, that was... that was nuts. We're just flirting with the aircraft carrier. Just a little flirt. It's nothing. Just saying hi. Yeah. It's like I gotta use that longer, uh, grip. You want to try going in from the other direction? You know, Snow, I think yelling at the pilot while he's trying to yeah. concentrate isn't going to help. I'm just, uh, I'm always afraid of going too far out. What? Yeah, I don't know what the limit is. Like, I don't know if I'll, I don't know how far you can go out before the engine's cut, and I, I haven't tried to find out. There's so. only one way to f Okay. <laughs> I mean, we went pretty far with the, uh... The Nigerian the heli, right? captain, when we threw him back into international <laughs> waters to get picked up to go back to Nigeria. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to go, and we just shoved him out. <laughs> you can definitely go... Ow. Yeah, there's always been an aircraft carrier. Um, I think they do? I don't know. Next we'll ha would have to answer that, but he's probably already gone. Use the slip? Use the slip? Not at all. Easy. 
class. Hold up. I have a question. Because I've never been on an aircraft carrier that's actively um, deploying airplanes or receiving airplanes. Do you think you can feel it on the ship when a plane lands? Uh, or do you think it's it. too massive? It's, it's, I would say the structure's too big to feel. Maybe, I don't know, depending on the kind of plane, but you do definitely hear it. And the engines themselves create a rumble anyway, so. Okay. Like a jet. Not like a cargo, but like a jet. Okay. Yeah. I don't know, actually. I don't know. Ask Kenny. Maybe if it was stood on the top deck. You know who I should ask like is Kithikor. Because he's a fighter uh, jet pilot for the Navy. I don't know if you're like... I don't know if you'd feel it if you're stood in the ATC, for example, or on the bridge. What's a LHD? I feel like you would. I mean, it comes in pretty hot. Well, like, you could feel the in the boat like engines or the engines? Down, right? the very, you know, like, well, like, there's so much else thing. happening on a carrier anyway. Like, would you, but really, like, would you, would you feel it? I don't know. And it's like on water and shit already, so. Huh. Yeah. The line that they use to catch planes moves the ship? Okay. An amphib keel, okay. Oh god, we're doing it. I'm like, let me Google that. Oh god, dude, are we gonna have a three day obsession uh, for aircraft carriers? All I needed to do was, uh, I, I needed a better <gasps> This one so has a, a big... A big in... A big back hole in the back end. <laughs> oh, they got helicopters! Sorry. Say less. <gasps> oh, there's a ship That's going inside it! <laughs> one was, uh... One was in London. Holy shit. In what is all this? <gasps> oh, those are, uh, what are the, the, they're like pelicans? What are they fucking called that have the, uh, and they like, uh, tilt forward? Offspring? Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys something. Um, I like to go to, uh, decommissioned... Uh, battleships and aircraft carry. carrier museums. Oh, be honest. Unless they're like, you know, it's an official visit. With and you're like, oh, why would you do that? I just think they're cool. Probably not a very safe thing. I'm not even kidding. My stepdad and I, well, my stepdad's into aerospace brokerage. He loves airplanes. He loves jets. He loves air everything about airspace, rocketry, all, just all of it. Uh, but he's, well, yeah, he's yeah, very, yeah, so uh, his business it, right? that he owned is, uh, uh, he had a lot of contracts with the US military. But, um, my stepdad's family is like very much, uh, airplane heavy military people. So, um, he is a heavy influence on, like, oh, are we gonna go to the battleship today? And, like, we have a day of going to, like, oh my god, dude. Uh, let me see if I can. I'll show you the last one I went to. Have you seen uh, Britain's latest uh, carrier? No, I haven't. Oh, God, it's cool. It's very, very modern. Uh, yeah, we went to the USS North Carolina. It's in oh, um, Wilmington. Uh, this yeah, thing. Try Dude, I, I love touristy shit. I just want to say, hey, first of all, we first went on a, um, like a tour of the, of the lake the here. And then you run in the front. I put on or not a lake. It. This is a river that, that goes deep inland. I don't know why I said lake. But anyway, this is, I forgot what this Come is. Up. I don't know if it's. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm looking at battleships on my phone. Oh. I forgot. You like to fly? Does it say? No, I'm looking at battleships. Okay. I forgot what this... It's a specific uh, river. But anyway, I went... Uh, no. I went on this thing, and it's cool because it has that, like, uh, that camouflage that, uh... I forgot what it's called, but at a distance, like, you can't really tell where, like, the beginning and the end is. It's not a channel, it's a very specific, uh, river. Um, but anyway, it was cool! Okay, that's, that's... The da- yeah, the dazzle. I... I like going to battleship. <laughs> anyway. Um, there's a restaurant not too far down the river that has really good crab cakes. Yeah, Cape Fear. I think it is Cape Fear because you have to... Wilmington's on the mainland and it's like a college town. And then if you go across the bridge... I forgot what the freeway was, but there's a bridge that you go across of across uh, Cape Fear, and then you're on uh, Carolina Beach Island. Is anybody yeah. from North Carolina knows what I, that can validate that I know what the fuck I'm talking about? I swear to God. Why? Oh. Yeah. So, not to completely dox myself, but the likelihood of me seeing right. any of you guys. But if I happen to run across any of you guys in Wilmington or uh, on no. Carolina Beach Island every summer, no. um, my family surprised. owns like a, no. a, a huge like here, condo right? house thing uh, out there. No, but it's and uh, I love Carolina Beach. Like, going to, like, Jubilee Park, that place is sh such a shithole. <laughs> oh my god. Like, all through the 90s and, like, the 2000s, it was such a fucking shithole, dude. If anybody's been there, it is a fucking dump. They've been, uh, there's, like, a whole, uh, they, like, um, did, like, an urban renewal of, like, Carolina Beach Island. So how the fuck do we get back? Yeah, the Dazzle, uh, paint fuck. is sick. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to sleep anyway. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. Uh, about yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the only, I mean, it's the only option I think. You wanna do that? You guys wanna do what? Uh, we lost a chopper, so he's gonna parachute us back because he's going to sleep. Oh, our helicopter's gone. Yeah, it's gone. What if I wanna fly the helicopter? It vanished. I wonder why, Snow. It's not my fault. Yes, it there is. You. Uh, there's two uh, two parachutes there. All right. I remember from last time, I put it on and then I don't touch nothing. That is right. I hope I hit All right, a you building. Guys, you guys got a mum? What am I going to fly now? Well, there's two other choppers, luckily. I'm sorry. That yeah, they're... but that's the B. I'm not BCSO or LSPD. Just change the livery. Easy. I'm not paying for that. <laughs> Bitch, it's, what it's the free. fuck? It's free. Yeah, it's free. Or, or... We don't lose the helicopter because not all of us get to drive the interceptor. <laughs> cool. I mean, you can blame me if you want, but I, I am I'm not taking responsibility for that. Uh, me, okay, well, I, I don't it. see anyone else here that was flying it. I did it. I took right. it. It's mine. Are we going to do like a military? You're going to be like, deploy, deploy, deploy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever you guys want to do. Can you open up the back on this? No. For some reason, it keeps closing when, uh, when we're flying there. Oh, I need to refuel. We definitely need to refuel. Does anybody have any money? Uh, I hope. I have $800. All right, I have $16. I need $138. What's your PayPal? Fuck. Uh, 55 There you go. Now you owe me $200 and a helicopter. Hmm. hmm. Note to self. Jacqueline Michelle Snow. 
owes me one helicopter and two hundred dollars. I got you. And orange jello. Oh. I'm putting yep. in a big order for that, Cobb. Okay. I got. I actually had a genius idea earlier. The plan is in motion. <gasps> what if there's a Jello stand at Dean's World? Um. Or I could just pay someone to make some for you. Do you think they could have Let's Capri go. Sun? <laughs> I think we might get in trouble if we go. <laughs> Whoa. Well, maybe not, actually. I, don't I know. felt- wait, 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 wait! I fell through the airplane! Please don't kill me! Wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's weird. Are you okay now? Are you both yeah, okay? everything's great. How do I pull the, uh, cor- Alright, never mind, I know. Your left hand, you, uh, take yeah, 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 yeah. the and then just punch out your cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The heli. It's kind of weird. I think it's because when you leave a car when there's, like, nobody around, sometimes it just, you know, what? Gone. Down. Nice, nice sideways takeoff snow. That was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Through the water. I'm really enjoying that an ATV can roll my vehicle. I'm listening to the radio and fucking Jenny's. Jenny's car got destroyed by an ATV. Yeah, I know. I've been. I, my car gets disabled and it takes like five tries to start the engine again afterwards. Very, yeah, very really lame. Me off. It really me off. I hate it. Yeah. There's a. I've seen only seen a Fleet Week um, in Portland, and it's usually the Canadian Navy that comes in. Approaching three thousand feet. I mean, Dude, I don't, I don't even know how to answer that BF. Well, they that those were the only ships that came into Fleet Week, uh, in Portland, on the Willamette. It was cool. All the bridges going up and everybody's traffic and day is completely disrupted and like all the 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 ships that come in have all of their flags so and like uh like celebratory uh, decorations and stuff on it it's really cool i didn't jump out snow oh you're still here yeah oh, hey okay i'll take you back i uh i, I was having a problem you. I you nah i just heard okay? cream screaming <laughs> Yeah, I flew He's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're so evil. Take you back up. Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. Okay. I thought you jumped out, so. Nah, no, I didn't. I was having uh, some other problem. Oh, uh, okay. Spectrum? Uh, yeah, probably. Nice, dude. Nice, 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 nice. We're totally not dead. What the fuck? No, we're not dead. We're good. Dude, what is happening? All right, we are approaching jump altitude, Libya Copper. Are you ready? Okay. I might splat because I'm having problems, no? Do you want me to hold off? No. I'm ready. Goodbye. Jump, jump, jump. Green light, copper. Green light. Tango 787762 BM147. The carrier sounds so good. He's gonna fucking kill me, dude. Dispatch 490 
Ralph full box, medical one to ninety five. Copy that for ninety fifty three. I'm coming for you, Snow. Do a backflip! Do a backflip! <laughs> oh, dude. Alright, we're gonna go to the house. Goodbye, Snow! I hear him. I feel like he's a... Like an ever-present threat. Just like buzzing around. Nah, we're gonna probably eat shit while we try and land at the house. Shoot snow down? I'll pay you guys. I can't turn. I can't turn anymore. It's not letting me turn. <laughs> cool. That was awesome. I couldn't like turn anymore. It's okay. I didn't want body armor while I'm kind of being targeted by a fucking terrorist. Actually, two terrorists. Fuck, oh, dude. Dispatch 404 True. We have to talk to Dean. And then we're gonna go do patrol stuff. Uh, Dean. Dispatch, can you get in contact with that room one about the uh, shots at the beach, please, and ask them. About the 47, didn't know anything. <laughs> and if so, why did he moving up? Yeah. Away? How can everything go so well and then go so terrible at the same time? Hello? No, I already found uh, stuff from Dab yesterday. Uh, I have to pee really bad. Um... We're gonna be like a normal person and we're gonna hang out on the roof of our house. In this crevice. Okay. You see this shit? Bam! Won't even know I'm here! All right, you guys are gonna watch the front door. If anybody comes by, you guys have to tell me, okay? I'll be right back, I have to pee. One five reference data is three one one. Apparently it was doctors at the beach doing tests. Dispatch 
Lance, we have a man down at MRPD who was offered to rob a house. Ben Unit would like to talk to our operational. I got nothing on scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're good! The rough five is coach sits in the industrial area. Sunbathing! You should maybe daydreaming. Appa! Are you good? <laughs> what the? Fine? I'm fine. I'm sunbathing. Uh, yeah, she was leave, leave her alone, man. All right, all right, all right. All right sunbathing. God, you're, you're like a dad. You want well, my no, hands? Listen, so I was, I was over there. I saw a parachute come over here. And I didn't see it come back, and I was the last I saw it. Dude, I, 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 I was gonna parachute to the house, try and talk to Dean about everything that's going on, uh -huh. because like, this property, Dean owns this house, right? Uh -huh. So for for Dab to know that I lived here, he has to one, know that I'm engaged to Dean. And two, yeah. intentionally look up properties that Dean owns. Because if he looked up just my name, it wouldn't there's no public record. Yeah, he wouldn't have found anything. Yeah. So I came to the house that I have to tell Dean to like watch out, you know? Mm -hmm. But he's not here. Um so I was just hiding on the roof. Okay. You know? All right. Kareem started panicking and made us drive all the way over here to check on They didn't make it. I want to make sure you were okay. Okay, the other thing is on she my approach, more. I was going to land yeah. here in Muir Park, but on my approach, my uh, my parachute stopped turning, so I couldn't. Oh, God. I was like, oh, all no. right, well, this is. It was like a moment where you like feel for like, your uh, life. <laughs> you're, you're it's like, really Whoa. true. Accidents happen within a mile of your house. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I have to make it back to. I was gonna bother Dean to give me a ride back if he was gonna. I'm gonna try and call him again. All right, you want us to wait? If he doesn't show up, then we'll take you. Uh, yeah, let's let's just see. I know, right? His car got stolen. Pro, what are you doing? Sure he another call. Hey, Dean. Hey, Kappa. Hey, um, are you busy? Uh, no, actually, I just finished the meeting. Oh, okay. Um, I'm at the house. Do you want to yeah. chat for a second? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll be me? a minute. Okay. Uh, I'll be here I'm waiting. Just coming from the gallery. Okay, sure. All right. All right. Don't speed. Too late. Okay. All right. Well, I'm timing you. Better hurry the fuck up. Okay, Wait. I'm doing 160 past the fleet right now. Wait, what car are you driving? Is your Austin Martin yeah, still missing? No, no, no. I got it back. Do you know who okay, took it? I stole because I hear local. Is that a fucking street racer? In my neighborhood? It's a beautiful, oh, they beautiful always place, go through there. You know? Fucking street. I'm gonna spice it. You drive right in front of our house. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. All the time. I don't know the money you get from working. 
I'm gonna spike strip them in front of our house and just laugh. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Well, one of them is Marlo, so I might kill him. Even better. What? Are you worried about that? Are you afraid of me killing Marlo? Well, I mean, if he's racing for a street and you're spiking him and he dies, I mean, you know, he's our friend. I mean, right, Dean, but you're the one who always says that you hate him and you hope he dies and that you're going to kill him. Wow, I say I hate him. I don't wish him death. Yeah, but you you said all of those things to me. Okay, there's literally a racer right here on our street right in front of us. I'm going to pull him to us. Black, black two-door. Here it comes. Here it comes. Okay, uh, you're clear for pit. Hey, I should want to see. Him. Oh, hey, buddy, how's it going? Who is it? Who is that? Uh, hey, is there in the channel? Pretty good, pretty good. What are you up to? Uh, I'm to a, uh, buggy. Damn. Buggy. Oh, that's, uh. That's, that's <laughs> something. It doesn't have an engine <laughs> sound. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Just exhaust. Damn, hey, dude. Gonna, I'm gonna buggy that for you guys. Yeah, what's up, man? What's going on, brother? Not much. Just doing some laughs, hanging out with Bo. Okay, okay, okay. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It'd be a shame Somebody if I. Somebody a house up here. Nah, we're just you. chilling. Oh hell yeah. You know. All right. Good seeing <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Wait, where's your guys' car? Uh, over there. Over there. <laughs> it's over there in the grass. Oh, See, okay. he was adamant that you were in, the, in this house. Oh, nah. Yeah, I was, I was a little confused. Get on, Mr. Watson. <laughs> hello? Look. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, casually Damn, polishing his car. Jesus. Dude, he oh, w. shiny. Yeah, unfortunately, I hit, hit some locals on the way over. That's just big damage. Uh, I think that's pretty, I think that's pretty fortunate. They hit you, babe. They should know better. They hit you. True, true, true. Damn. All right, Kappa, I'm glad you're okay. Okay, I know we're gonna get out of here. Okay. Okay. Uh, you thank you are... all. Thank you for cream. Thank you for uh, mm -hmm. checking on me. Of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, take it easy, okay? Goodbye, Mr. Watson. Hi. Why are they glad you're okay? What happened? I'm gonna tell you. Can you, uh, do you want to drive us? Around somewhere. The unit's closer. I'm all the way on. Do you lock yourself out of your car? I wasn't expecting to like, yeah, Where are we going? Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna. Um. Uh. You're gonna somehow get pulled into this or be involved. Um. Are you okay, Dean? Yeah, it's just, just you driving. <laughs> it's just you driving? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I, I've told you before in my career that uh, I've put a lot of people away for life, right? Yeah, you like to brag about that? No, I don't brag about it. I've, I think I've only mm. brought it up uh, twice to you. Um, one of those people that got put away is a guy by the name of Maximilian Thoroughbred. What kind of name is that? Uh, I don't know. I think he's like Protestant or something. Sounds like a twat. Yeah, well, he kind of is. Uh, he was like a, like a, like a super terrorist, essentially. A super terrorist? Yeah. Not just a terrorist, has to be a super terrorist. Well, like, there was casual you're the one terrorism. That put him away. He's got to be like the super terrorist. Well, it has to do with the time. I'm using just the only words that affiliate with him because of, at the time, that's what he was considered ab um, among the other criminals that we had. Mm. And, um. Okay. He, uh. Anyway, so I. He, he was kind of like targeting one of my other officers that was in the CID. This was way, like, way back then. Uh, it was Jenny Hall. And uh, they kind of had a thing, so I intervened by taking over the investigation because uh, Hall was kind of uh, compromised. Because they had like a romance between the two of them. And uh, it's causing a lot of issues. 
Sounds familiar. Uh, this dude is like was in love with with Hall. Shut up, Dean. <laughs> um, she has a fat ass. Anyway, the thing is, um, I've been shot up by this guy, and after a series of things went on, uh, we had this specified task force, and we captured the guy. And um, I pressed charges where he would be in max security um, with a potential of parole down the road. And so he's been in max security for uh, quite a long time. And uh, he was a number one suspect in a bunch of investigations. Anyway, uh, he was broken out of prison because there was a transport that he was a part of. And yesterday he uh, tweeted out and essentially let everybody know that he's around. Uh, most people think that he's not, it's not actually him that somebody hacked his uh, Twitter account. Are we dying? No. Well, I mean, aren't we all dying? Eventually? Okay, thank you. Okay, Dean. Um, but he, uh, somehow he found out that you and I are together. And, uh... Probably the billboard. Yeah, probably the billboard. Maybe someone told them something. So thanks for that, Dean. And uh, looked up uh, probably me to see if I have any properties in my name. I obviously don't. And then looked you up and saw that you have a house that coincidentally is next to uh, Sis Volker. Sis Volker is his like stepchild, like adoptive ch stepchild. Wait, what? Yeah. This guy... Um, like she weird has a stepdad yeah as a terrorist yes oh, yes i'm definitely using that oh this is even better all right great so i went to go speak with sis after this tweet went out and i was like uh because sis know that i uh was investigating his stepdad and that i'm the one that put him in prison um caused him a lot of grief and i went to go talk to sis about the fact that someone was on his twitter account tweeting Sis believes that it's someone who hacked his account. I know the fact that Maximilian Thoroughbred was broken out in a transport ambush and he is currently on the loose. Um, but someone had gone to Sis's house and left a gnome mask at his back door. Uh, the gnomes are a, uh, an, like the, the terrorist group that, um, Maximilian Thoroughbred uh, ran. They would say the words ho ho he he. That was like their their calling card thing. Um, Consider me terrified. Right. Uh, I know. I I get that you're just kind of like rolling your eyes a bit here. Uh, uh, th this stuff that he has done at the time was. Um, was pretty substantial. Maybe now to the today's standards, probably not so much. But you know, times change. And I then um, I went to our house, and there was a no mask left at our front door. So I know that he knows that I live there and that we live there. Oh, so that's why you brought up. Okay, I get you. Yes. So now you all everything's coming together, right? So uh, I mean, it's. Obviously, it's not a secret that we're a thing, and it's not a secret that I live there, so... Yes. It wouldn't be... Okay, I got you. Um, I am, uh... Oh, Sis got one, too? I guess, well, I guess it's because yes. you stepped there. Yeah, and I think Sis was kind of taken back by the fact that I got a mask, because I think Sis maybe thought that maybe he was... Like, it was a special calling from his stepdad about, you know, like, to rekindle with him. But, uh, I got one, too. And, um, I just, uh, I need you to know that this person exists, um, because I, it would be really dumb of me to think that this person isn't going to possibly try and do something to me or to you. Do you think it's likely that something would happen to me? Yes, without a shadow of a doubt. Because you put him away. 
because I put him away and I investigated him and I ruined his relationship with uh, Jenny Hall. And, uh, yeah. So who, who did he run with in the past? Sorry guys. Why does that always happen? Spectrum to the wanted list? Yeah. I like how uh, disinterested in everything that I'm just like, hey, this is a, uh, this is kind of like a big deal. And he's just like, sounds like a bitch to me. It sounds like a total twat. Just like, oh, okay. Yeah, you're not wrong. He is a twat. But he's a very fucked up twat, too. You believe me, right, Dean? <laughs> right, Dean? Hey, Dean! You believe me when I tell you that he's gonna try and kill me, right? To dispatch. It's me. It's me. I didn't sign in this dispatch. Don't worry. Do you guys want to see my uh my my safe room, my bunker? Don't tell anybody this. In the fridge. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, dude. Sorry about that. I fell out of the car. Okay. You okay? Yeah, I'm I'm fine. Like somewhere you see. Oh. I'm putting my seatbelt on right now. Anyway, point I was just saying is as much of a, a twat you think this guy is and how dumb he sounds like uh, dressing up as a gnome and saying like hoo hoo hee hee. Uh He's caused like a, a lot of grief and a lot of destruction. Um, he's very, uh, I don't know, you might actually like him. I, I've had a, a lot of uh, long talks with this guy. Um, his grief is uh, trying to, like everybody else in the city that's a criminal mastermind, as far as I can tell. Uh, wants to dismantle the police and expose them for being really shitty at their jobs. And I'm just like, you know, get in line, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, like his gripes against the city aren't... aren't unusual, especially compared to a lot of the... The other people that I know in the city and then my relationships with uh, a lot of other criminals that are of interest that I'm investigating. You know, like... The... He, he hasn't been around with uh, the current DOJ and like how, how things are handled with that. I mean, he hasn't really experienced how uh, the law enforcement currently is. I mean, he's been in a fucking hole this entire time. But, um... I mean, the last few times I've talked to him... Like, it's not like he was, uh... Really stretching it, or, you know, what his gripes were really too... Too far. But, uh, the problem is, is that he has a, a very certain kind of psychosis in how he chooses to, to go about his business. It's very, uh, dangerous. He, um... I know he convinces people to join him because they hope to be a, a part of this uh, revolution. Which I've, again, it's the same words, the same ideals that uh, a lot of the same, the groups that I'm investigating, they all kind of have the same tendencies. So I don't, I guess maybe, as far as cop work, I guess I really know how to pick them, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I, I just think that he's definitely upset with me, uh, for putting him in, uh, in prison. Uh, he has a wife and kids that are in another city. Uh, he came to this city originally to become a famous rap artist on SoundCloud. And I guess he kind of got swallowed up in the life of crime that comes along with, uh, you know, lots of money in cars. Well, is it so, um, I'm trying to go back to, uh, what's the official story? Of what? Like you said that people don't believe he's out. Uh, no, they don't believe he's out. So what's the official story? that he is out. Okay, so that's that's like a known thing. Um, I don't know how known it is. A lot of people are in denial. I'm actually meant to have a conversation with Sis and to tell him the truth. Uh, Wait, so that's my that's my question. Are they in denial or is that you know or is Well I haven't I mean I'm the city I, covering it up. I guess for the uh it's not a cover up. It's just that uh Obviously, all of that information would be internal with the DOC and the and the PD. And we're just trying to get our facts straight with uh, our investigation before we make any kind of public statement. You know what I mean? Mm hmm So, Sis did ask me uh, if I know whether or not it's true. And I said I told him that I didn't know. Oh my god, we're good. Um... 
so I lied to him. Uh, but I, I think I'm gonna tell him. I already know what Sizz is gonna do. I know his uh, place in all of this. But Sizz has always been um, like cooperative with me. Even with like past criminal tendencies and stuff like that. We've always kind of uh, like helped each other out. Um, okay, so I don't, I don't necessarily care about any of that. What are the chances that he will come for you personally? Um, without a shadow of a doubt. And what uh, what are you expecting? Um, I think he'll kidnap me. I think he'll try and uh, torture me. I think he'll shoot me. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know really what, besides me putting... Cool. Hold on. Okay. Copper killer records. Shut the fuck up. I think it could go either two ways. Um, one, uh, so here's the facts. Yes, he will come after me. Um, will he try and hurt me? Uh, yes, I think so. Uh, I think he'll also try and toy with me. Um, the, uh, I used the wrong way. Uh, there, it's a crew, uh, the gnomes, which was a part of prune game. Um, he it's ran like with a lot of people, names. like a lot of people. Alabaster Slim, Eugene Zuckerberg. Um, fuck, I don't know. He, honestly, he was very uh, charismatic and he had a lot of connections. Uh, but, I, like, just, his, I need as many names as you can give me. Uh, my old best friend, Kevin Shaw, but he was a defense attorney that basically helped him get out of everything. Uh, I would have to look at my old uh, network board that I have for him. Uh, like how how deep he's connected um what's the uh what, what resolution are you looking for here you just want to put him back in jail uh yeah yeah i mean i don't want the guy dead you know i the thing is that he was uh in max security with um with a a chance of parole so like if he, I, I, I don't know, it makes, there's a lot of questions that I have. I'm going to finish what I was saying before. Either he is going to want to hurt me or due to our last conversation that we had with each other, where I told him that he wasn't wrong, there is a, a problem with the system. It's going to take a lot of work to fix it. It's not going to happen overnight, but blowing people up and killing people and setting people on fire is not going to I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm so sorry, guys. Sit back there, you sip your Capri Sun, you shut the fuck up! Mom's driving!
so know your worth. Stay alert. Choose your side, stand firm, hold your turf. Stay alert. Protect your heart and the breaths that you earn. Yeah, I'm trying to stay alive, ducking while I dive, trying to find that. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I wish I could turn off my announcement bot because I feel bad that I'm like spamming a lot of people. No, I'm talking about uh, even on Lost, trying to find a space tangle free. No longer puppets on the string allow the fantasies. What your eyes can see, can even be on a uh, uh, Twitch. Stay alert, good and evil of fighting, so know your worth. Stay alert, choose your side, stand firm, hold your turf. Stay alert, eyes peeled, open up, observe. Excuse me. You sit back there, you sip your Capri Sun. You please, li a tiny Lord Baby Mom Jesus, driving. please let me connect and not have internet issues, please. I beg. I got this piece. No, I don't. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha ha. Moon rock. That's a sign. That's a sign that everything's fine, right? Eight pound, six ounce, tiny baby Jesus. Please, Lord, have mercy upon my internet. So I can pretend to be a cop. Oh, hey, babe. Sit back there. Sit uh, how you, how you doing? Mom's driving. What up, what up? Uh, sorry, give me a second. Uh, nothing. Just saying hi. I'm Sorry. You flew out the car again. Oh, uh, I would. Uh, I was just saying that. Um, like I. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how he feels about me. You know what I mean? I. I feel that me I, putting I him in prison is gonna make him. Uh, you know, want to get revenge. I mean, anybody would want revenge for that. Right. But there's a difference between a, a feeling and being 100% about it, right? Well, why why wouldn't he target, target me? No, no, I'm not trying to say he wouldn't. I'm asking if you're 100% certain. Yes, 100% certain. I don't know what that target's going to end up being, though. That's what I mean. I don't know if it's going to be like a... Like, he's gonna just try and, like, pick me up and tie me to a cinder block and drop me in the ocean? I don't know if he's gonna make, like, a... I don't know if he's actually gonna try and kill me, or if he's gonna... try and play mind games uh, against me, like I did to him. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what kind of connections he has anymore, because a lot of the people that he 
used to roll with are not the same people anymore. So I don't, I don't know if like maybe those people are already so busy wrapped up in like their own lives that they've created while, you know, he's been, you know, in, locked away this whole time. Or if they'll drop everything and just, uh, you know, answer his calling card, you know? Right. But, um, you know, your best chance of protection is for me and not the police force, so that's what I'm trying to figure out here. What I need to do. Wait, say that again? I said your be best chance of protection is me and not the police force, so I'm trying to figure out how I can help you. Yeah, probably. But I'm also telling you because um, I don't know if he's going to try and use you against me. Because I kind of fucked up his uh, love life. Is there anyone else you can think of who he used to run with? I need... Like, there's people I can name, but I... Uh, uh, like, I need names that aren't Sis and Eugene. I need names that I can actually go and ask questions, you know? Okay, uh, Alabaster Slim, uh, Auto Tune Tyrone, uh, Little Tugs, uh, Eugene Zuckerberg, Mel Rickenbacker. Um, hold on, let me, uh, let me open up my spreadsheet, so give me a second. Okay. Um, he had some runnings with, uh, the Lean Boys, which, uh, is like, I, I mean, it's not really like a, like a, I, I don't know what they are, you know what I mean? But like, you know, um, Al Saab, uh, he was close with, uh, Ms. Mr. Buddha, he was close with, uh, Mr. Corleone. Um... He was connected with the uh, Sahara International. Uh, obviously, the HOA because of Sis, but not not very much because that was kind of like Sis's branching out. And then around that time when the HOA was forming, um, I had already picked him up and had him in max sec. Um, I think he might have known the Top Shadows, but I don't think they were really connected yet. Which is like uh, Anto Murphy, uh, Wayne Bigaz. But a lot of this has to do with uh, he was involved in uh, heavy arms dealing, like class two guns. But like, I mean, as far as like uh, Tony and like Sab and uh, Lang go, like I, I don't know if they would even keep in touch with him. You know what I mean? Cause like everybody's kind of like mm -hmm. doing something else with their lives. Yeah, it's okay. You've given me, given me enough that I can. I'm not sure if he, uh, the chain gang was quite a bit different back then too so I, I don't really know if they would even be talking to each other maybe Mr. Yeah, K I mean, would still but Rain and Anto these days are CG right so right it, it's hard to really like tell you which to even go into because like, like I said I he's very look, charismatic I, I just, and very connected yeah I just needed a list of names so I can start asking questions that's all i like i don't need like yeah. a a golden bullet or whatever i just needed to know where to start okay um i mean the thing is if i uh if i find this guy and i talk to him 
I'm gonna tell him you're off limits, but the rest of the shit that he might do, I'm not gonna get involved with, right? You understand that? Yeah, I, uh, I understand that. End of the escape. I mean, what are you gonna do, Dean? I mean, chances of me talking to him before you are quite high, right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it seems like he wants, he like, uh, he wants to toy with me. Like he's already trying to communicate with his like mask and shit like that. I mean. But yeah, he would definitely be more willing to talk to you than me. Uh, I'm sure he knows that if I see him, I'm going to fucking put a bullet in his head. And if I'm really lucky, I'll stab him with my knife. I would like to make it up close and personal. What a selfish asshole, dude. Honestly. Now, on the off chance that I do speak to this guy. Yeah. And I manage to negotiate that he doesn't harm you in any way. Are you willing to not stab him if you see him? If you still want to stab him, that's fine. I just need to leave that part out, you know? Uh, for you, Dean, I promise I won't stab Maximilian Thoroughbred. Oh, it's not really for me. I want to stab him. Like... Well, I mean, it's it, for me, I would stab him. I mean, for me, like as a gift in, to me, like Copper, I've been really you good. not being shot okay. up or tortured. Yeah. I don't even have my... Oh, what? When did he escape? Uh, not yesterday, but the night before. I said nothing on the news. Um... Apparently, it happened during shift three when, uh, like, no one's around. <laughs> like, no, no one in LSVN it's is, even a is like, uh, on, on the clock. Like, there's not really a lot of officers. There's no, hasn't been, like, a public statement. I mean, most people wouldn't even know who Maximilian Thoroughbred is unless you're one of those specific people that he's worked with, you know? Yeah, I mean, I've... Never Fuck, I don't even know if I should tell Dean about the, the rest. I have to think. If you come to me and tell me you're afraid, then obviously I'm going to get involved. Time to call in a favor from the pocket master. What? What? No, 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 no. You can't say stuff like that. You know, I'm like investigating him. Like, I'm. He fucking shot snow in the face, Dean. Oh my god. Oh my god. Christ, how many people think this is their city? I don't know who I am. Okay, I get it, Dean. You pull the strings. Jesus. Every, every fucking week, I'm learning about some other fucking wannabe. Man. True. Dean, you're the best. I'm going to be honest. You make me feel a lot better about really crazy shit. Hey, um, look, I'm going to tell you some information. Okay. I'm on the fence about this. I got a, I got a question, though. Uh, okay. Um... If I talk to this guy and I don't like him, 
and I hand him to you on a silver platter, you're just going to throw him back in the prison. Yes. Right. Sit back there, stick your foot in the sun, shut the fuck up! Mom's driving! Hell yeah, it's our anniversary. Yes. Uh. <gasps> oh my god, we're dead! I landed. Oh! Damn! Dang, you're really good at driving! Hey, do you want to be a street racer? They won't let me in races with this car. Oh. True. Okay, fair enough. What was the information you wanted to give me? Um... I think Dab is going to reach out to... Um... To Buddha. What's his name? Young Dab? That's his... Okay, that's his street name. His... Maximilian Thoroughbred, aka... Maximilian Thoroughbred is his given name. This guy sounds like a tour. Yeah, you're not wrong. You should... You should listen to his music. Everyone tells me I should listen to their much sex these days, you know? Well, I mean, if you want to find a reason to really like him, you should listen to his music. I don't, I'm not looking for a reason to like him. Just okay, well, I was being facetious, you. you know? Oh, okay, yeah, sorry. Anyway, um, I have, uh, without a shadow of a doubt, young Dab is going to talk to Lang. Uh, I know this for several reasons. One, um, Lang and Dab, uh, knew each other before two uh during the transport so um dab was a uh, was getting um therapy with pixie plum hey you guys have a lot of content uh, dean hey cops getting therapy from pixie plum anyway he's being transported to bolingbrook and uh during one of the transport to Parsons so that you can meet with Plum. Um, a bunch of the employees of the Rooster's Rest were taken as a... as volunteer DOC which doesn't actually exist. Uh, the DOC, everybody in the DOC has denied that there has ever been a, a position as a temp, as a volunteer DOC. You can't volunteer for DOC. But uh, Fontaine had picked up a bunch of the employees of the Rooster's Rest and had them with her in the transport, specifically um, Jaeger Demon Blood. What's the call, man? So, whatever is going on with the Rooster's Rest, they obviously know who Maximilian Thoroughbred is, and, uh, I mean, Lang is their boss, so... <laughs> He's definitely gonna talk to Lang. Okay. What is this volunteer DOC bullshit? Um, the uh, Fontaine, who is kind of like FTOing. I don't know what she is. She's running for warden, but she I really basically don't like that woman. no. This chick is a fucking dipshit. Um, so we have guidelines and rules, SOPs for uh, transports, specifically lifers and uh, people that are in max sec when they're going to um, Parsons, like uh, like I'd had with you when we went to Parsons. And so the, the police, I know, it's so cute. It all comes together, right? But um, you're, there's a police escort. We're involved in all of the transport. Um, DOC is there. And 
So apparently he's had multiple visits with Parsons and never once were the police like really ever involved in those transports. There's a, a cadet, Honeybuns, who told me that he was contacted by Fontaine to be there, but he was a cadet, so I'm kind of confused why uh, Fontaine specifically is using volunteer DOC, which doesn't exist, by the way. There's no... There's You can't volunteer as DOC. So she took a bunch of civs that all... of civilian people that work at the Rooster's Rest, got them geared up, and were acting as corrections officers to transport a maximum security offender to his therapy. And the thing is that these kind of transports, and when this happens, like this has to be signed off through the DOJ and there's no record of it. Hmm. Dude, there's some other fucked up shit. Like, when this happened, like, she started 3 one one that she was being followed. And all of the officers that were on duty were doing time trials, and they basically told her to go fuck herself. That doesn't surprise me. So that doesn't surprise me, but it doesn't change the fact that Fontaine has not only, like, she's gone way out of her way to be completely negligent, and... I, I just, I'm just blown away. Like, this chick has fucking rocks her brains. Yeah, no, she, um... Like, on the... You know, there's some people that, like, believe they're really smart, but they're super stupid. Yeah, yeah, she's on that spectrum. She's one of those, yeah. Yes. So I had a conversation with her once about setting up... The, um, setting up the mining stuff and, the, you know, the work... Uh, the underpaid labor, as Leslie calls it. Yeah. Basically slavery of the lifers. Um, yeah. And she was, she was like giving me all this. Every time I brought something up, she was like, oh, you know how I know this isn't true? Yada, yada, yada. I was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> None of it was false. So she just, she was just trying to big dick me and just made herself look like a complete tool. Yeah, no, that's, that's her to a T. She, uh... She definitely uh, thinks that she's a whole lot better useful than she actually is. It's whatever, I got what I need. She was in charge of the transport. Yeah, um, she set up this whole operation, yeah, where there was a, a decoy. So there was a, uh, a, cadet, a cadet DOC and one full-fledged DOC officer that were a part of a decoy. And then she obviously was in the vehicle with uh, Maximilian Thoroughbred and a bunch of Rooster's Rest employees acting as volunteer DOC for security. And like usually when we have these transports, like these things are like scheduled out because they have to be one, scheduled with uh, Pixie Plum, two, it has to be signed off by the DOJ, and three, uh, it's basically. Uh, a request card is put out and officers sign up for the security detail. And none of those things happened. You're in so much trouble. Hey, hey Mr. Carter. Mr. Watson. Hey, Mr. 70s man. Yeah, hey, you need to slow that motherfucker down. Pull him over and like frisk him. Five. What the frisk fuck? him. I'm not frisking nobody. I don't have cause Here. to do that shit. That would be violating the motherfuckers. Here, rights. Dean, give and me your gun. That. Hey, slow it down. What's up, copper? How you doing? Yo, dog. Yeah, of course. All right, I got some more important shit I gotta do, or I would definitely hand your ass a ticket. Ooh, where you going? Do that shit again. I'ma light that ass up. All right. Ten bucks says you won't. Try it. Reach for if it you, again. If you accidentally shoot me, we're gonna have a lot of problems. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. Hey, I'll catch you next time. Don't be doing that shit. Try that shit again. <gasps> oh my I god, I'm a hostage. Help. Right. Hey, quit playing. Copper, play too damn much. Okay, sir. What if she was a hostage? Though? I know. I'm Man, a hostage for his love, Carter. Shit. All right. I'm a hostage for his love. God damn it. I got to go help Tessa with some shit, all right? Okay. I'll tell her I said hi. All right. Is 
that guy know? It's the 2020s. Uh, I don't really know. I don't know. He didn't tell us to have a good ass day. What the fuck, man? Was that his catchphrase? Yeah. Like, hey, you better have a good ass day. What were we talking about before he pulled us over? Um, about Fontaine. Oh, yeah. She's currently uh, suspended. Uh, Andrew suspended her and like some other disciplinary shit because uh, Andrews is the uh, actual warden of the um, of the prison. Mm. Oh my god, this area is absolutely fucked. Oh. Is there anything else that you think I should know about this guy? Um. Uh, I can tell you kind of what he looks like. Actually, I'll send you a picture of him. I'm not on duty. On the run. Huh? Super terrorist. I think you just have his and walk around without a mouse. Yes. He has a very, uh, unless he got it removed, um, he has a very defining facial tattoo. It's a half of a skull. Mm. Uh, he has a receding hairline. Um, he has like an old saggy nutsack for a neck. I mean, the skull tattoo and nutsack next probably enough, right? Uh, he has a very specific kind of voice, too. I can't replicate it, unfortunately. Um... I'm a bitch, dad bod. Okay? I'm a big fucking pussy! Hello, Chakra Cobra. Thank you for providing amazing content through the hard times. Yeah, You're awesome, yeah, hero. Bod. Um, do you want to have a dad bod? Oh. You don't know? I don't know what you want, really. How do you know what I want? Do you have a, said, a dad yeah, bod, It's up Dean? to you what you want. No, I'm, I'm in... No. You like this fine chiseled specimen of a man already? No, he's definitely not a a, a specimen. It's not him at all, whatsoever. Talk about myself. Oh, you yeah, you know for sure, actually. You're like a apex specimen. Yeah. I like to remind my dad all of the time that we're gonna have kids and they're gonna look like you and they're gonna have my ginger hair. He never did call me back hey, after he fucking. How are you doing today? Stood me up that one time. Yeah, that's actually kind of fucked up. My dad's a prick. I mean, he's, he's a total client, so. Munica, thank you. Thank you for the five years. Ready? my head one second. Uh, okay. I love that his head clips through.
Um, I mean, I don't, I don't really know what would, what would be the point of having copper turn and like join because like, who is gonna investigate these groups? You know what I mean? Like, I don't think there's any cops that give these like uh, are like a threat. Does that make sense? Maybe uh, Wrangler. But, I mean, that's if he doesn't want to play Mike Block. <laughs> Pass and take him to Grape Seed PD. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, Wrangler doesn't do terrorism. I, I don't think he would take on the terrorism investigations, and that's kind of like my. Uh... Hello. Hey. I like your purple shirt. Okay. Thank you. Hey, you look good. Okay, all right, awesome. You wanna take me to the PD? So what just happened? I'm gonna go on duty. Anything else we need to talk about there? Or? Uh, just, just that. I, um, I just, you know, look over your shoulder and stuff. Be careful of where you're meeting people. I mean, if you're so certain that he's going to talk to Lang, then I'm sure Lang will return from me, right? Lang will do what with you? Deter him from me. Um, uh, I don't know. I, I can't, I can't answer that. You know, like, uh, Lang obviously, you know, cares for you. So he, he would probably talk to him to not do anything to you. But um, I, I don't really know with Ling because him and I definitely have conversations at length about a lot of the issues that are in this city, and he knows exactly how I feel about them. And a lot of our sentiments are very much aligned. Uh, the only difference is uh, how we go about it. You know. I mean, um... We're gonna have to have a lot of conversations, find out a lot of things. Like, how much of this do you want to know? Uh, as much as I can. Obviously, there's some things I might not be able to tell you. Fair enough. But the only reason I'm getting involved is for your safety, right? You know that? Yeah, I understand that. I, I knew telling you this that you would want to actively do something about it. Oh, I thought the power went out in the side of the city. Um, but I, I already knew that. But that's why I'm giving you information to kind of determine what you want to do about it. Obviously, you have a a lot more leniency with the with people, especially with getting information and being able to talk face to face with people. Uh, people are just straight up afraid of me showing up because they'll know that. I'll do something about it, right? So... I, I just would rather you be in the know and have like a... an educated decision on what you're gonna do. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, but like... Uh, I need to give you a hypothetical and I need to uh, know... Dean would just probably it. move on to uh, Andy Jones. If What'd this you guy say? Is, is, I need to give you a hypothetical and I need to know if you're okay with it. Okay. So you say this, you know, this guy has a lot of ideals, whatever, and he's gonna do what he wants to get his point across now. If it comes to it where I talk to this guy and I make a deal for your safety, and he comes to me 
tells me he's going to blow up the PD. That's not something I'm going to be able to relay to you if it's to deal with your safety, right? Like, the only thing I'll be able to do is make sure you're not at the PD at that time, right? Uh, that's the only thing I can ask of you, please. I don't want to be blown up. It looks extremely painful. Right. I would probably be dead. Right. So we're, if that hypothetical was to happen, it's okay, right? I'm not going to hate you. Um... No. No. I'm going to be honest, I don't really care about the life of anyone in that building except yours. I care about a lot of the people that are in there. Most of them, no, not at all. They're fucking assholes. But, you know, I I swore an oath, you know, I'm here to protect people. It's kind of a pussy thing to do to blow up a building, you know? Right, I mean, like I say, it was literally an extreme hypothetical, right? Yeah. Alright, well, I'll do some digging. I'll let you know if, uh, if I make any progress. If you, uh, if you need me, you just call me instantly. Okay. Or text me if I'm on the phone or whatever. Okay. Thank um, you. I'm, I'm going to do with any fucking stupid idiots, please. Shut the fuck up! Mom, um, up in moon subs are kind of random cringe. places or whatever. <laughs> okay. Uh, if I, yeah, I'll I'll keep you in in the loop of stuff that I'm doing. Yeah, just be safe. I'm pretty sure I'll uh, be able to get some information pretty soon. Okay. Uh, wear your seatbelt, please don't die. I like that the severity of our caring right now is like a one for me and a ten for you. Is what? It's like a one for me and a ten for you. It's like, oh, don't get blown up. And you're like, yo, wear a seatbelt, bro. Well, I, well, um, I was just going to say, well, I've been in a car with you for the past hour and it was pretty intense. I'm, I'm but I didn't. I also don't want to say that because I. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dean. All of this is truly the. Uh, I, uh, I. I need you to know this because, um, you know, you're you're choosing to be with me, right? And. Uh, it comes with a lot of other things, you know? I guess you could say that I have baggage, and my baggage comes in the form of um, serial killers, stalkers, uh, terrorists, cults, um, corrupt cops, corrupt law, uh, the judicial system is also corrupt, and um, a lot of violence. Want to just want to just do a different job? Like what? I could work at a casino. Yeah, I'm not gonna watch your wheel. All right. Well, I'm but gonna uh, make some phone calls. 
see what I can find. Okay. Um, yeah, seriously, stay safe and just uh, keep me updated, all right? Okay. Uh, say hi to Leslie and um, and Marlo if you see him. Okay. All right. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Richmond Hotel, right northbound. Hardy Way, left, westbound. Picture perfect. Right northbound, Bay City. Ah, uh, it's gonna be painful. Correction, North Rockford. Continuing north northbound. Lawson. North Rockford. Hello. Oh hey, how you doing? How was the how was your first day? Oh, busy, really busy. You're gonna have to call it. Private. Actually, it was quite crazy. But today was better though. It was a lot Dude, more. Dude, if you have a today. problem with my mods, you can leave it. my channel. Just actually, kindly go just with fuck yourself. The moment. Actually, I do want to ask you a question. Actually, yeah, sure, whatever you need. So. This sounds a little, you know, alpha, it's but silly, alpha but I'm on the. The officer that I was just with, like doing FTO stuff, has, okay. uh, has gone 1042. Okay. As there's nobody sort of like waiting, like cadet wise, for an FTO, is it bad for me to see if I can request for another FTO or is that. Yeah, you can. Is that okay? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Do you want to ride with me? Oh, yes, please. I have a question. Um, yeah. Are you are you like a dipshit? <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Okay, if we get into a situation, I say shoot that fucking person. Oh, I already sprayed someone down yesterday. Like how? What is your knee jerk reaction? Like if someone pulls a gun on me, what are you gonna fucking do? I mean, if I if if I can, I'm, I'm put the hand of God on them. Okay, they're pulling a gun on me, and I'm your FTO. What are you gonna do? I mean, I can't shoot them.